eating the cookie Hello? spread with the fucking oh spoon. Hold on, Hello? I'm going to find them. What is We're angry at Soko because Soko thinks it's okay to eat a Swiss roll like a burrito. Like I think it's okay. Basically, it's, it's okay to me. I'm fat. Let's go. I think it's yeah, fine. Same. Basically, Soko's not on the judgment train that we were all no, on. No, I'm all food for it, bits. dude. I mean, go dude. So Soko, no contrarian Quibble. Soko. Like, shocker that he's not. Again. I'm not <laughs> lone contrarian here. I'm with Quiva and Dutch. Yeah, Hold I'm, on. Yeah, I'm with Suck it. my fucking dick. That's a We're right, split 50-50 because... right now. But if that's everyone difference... was all pogging, you would be like, no, that's fucked up, dude. There's so... a difference between... No, I wouldn't. There is a difference Depression. between what a depression... I've seen the... Anyway, D&D, hey guys. Anyway, 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 anyway. As a fan, I approve of that eating technique. Anyway, um... <laughs> hey gamers, it's it's Sunday. Welcome to Dungeon Select. Soko is here! I'm back. Yeah. Unfortunately. Clearly. I only came back though because Bell was gone. If yeah, she's back, true. I'm gone. The only reason yeah, Soko's true, true, here is because Bell's been flown to America to work his shift. <laughs> <laughs> they chose poorly. <laughs> Exactly, yeah, exactly. Really yeah, so we're, we're, we're down yeah, to Bell Bell's today. Bell is uh, doing things with friends. Uh, uh, so yeah, but we, got, we got Soko back though, so that's Bog. Um, Honestly, good trade. Yeah, I'll take the train. You know, it's everyone's Happy Thanksgiving, you know. Soko. That's oh yeah, it is this week, huh? Oh, is that yeah. this week? Yeah, yeah Thursday. Yeah, it? Thursday. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Yeah. yeah. I actually have it off work too. So. Oh my! Yeah, I mean, nice. isn't that like normal? For uh, no, like at Bridgestone. I mean, I worked every holiday because it was like. Ah, uh, Bridgestone so fucking like sucks. Golf balls. Golf balls. Like sixty bucks an hour, bro. It's, it's your work. civic duty to work during Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to go fuck each other as a family. <laughs> That's what a bad ball looks like, not a Bridgestone ball. <laughs> oh, we're back. Hey, you hate being back. <laughs> it's uh, we're here. Hello, hi. It's Sunday. You're it's everybody's favorite day of the week. Who am I kidding? It's really, Sunday is a shit day because you know, like, oh, tomorrow's Monday. It's like, ugh. You know, let's <laughs> let's, let's close out the weekend with a bang, baby. What do you mean? Uh, before we uh, get going, any announcements? Anything that anyone has to share with the class? Charity Select is over it and is. for 2022. And we raised over 1,350 pounds. Woo! We did! Let's go, dude. The, the, the charity campaign was a success as always. It's very good to, very humbling yep. to see all and the supports. Being... Because of that, there will be a Christmas one-shot on this channel, uh, totally. and we'll let you know who's playing in it once Dutch has time to figure that out. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I'll, I'll get to that towards, like, I don't know. End, and, of this, end of this month, beginning of next month is when I will start to yeah. uh, get all that set up. What is happening, yeah. Duke? Are you okay? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh God, no, hold Dude, on. that is not as big as you guys made it seem. Hold on. All right, what? I have beef now. I, have beef. I found Swiss the bit thing. where it was like Swiss roll bit mm -hmm. or whatever. It is not as big as you guys made it seem. You guys made it seem a lot bigger. I mean, people say that about Koiba a lot, though. So it's true. Oh, wait, why, why did it flip? No, no one, <laughs> no one, no one, no one says that, Laura. I'll tell you now. <laughs> not, not a. Hey, you. look, that place is like just down the street from me, kind of. <laughs> Yo, nice, nice dogs. Here at Bridgestone, we handcraft only the best golf balls. <laughs> Don't even work Hashtag anymore. not a sponsor. Hey, Duke, oh, I need definitely. you to put yourself in a... Constructed from a butadine <laughs> rubber core and ionomer coat, Bridgestone balls are built to last you drive after drive. <laughs> I love how you pronounce both those words wrong. There, there, go, there, there goes our million, million dollar there, there, deal. There, there, they got, they're going to have Bridgestone sponsorship. Damn it, dude. Do Bridgestone golf balls. <laughs> Ain't sure you wrong. I needed that sponsorship, go. bro. I need free golf yeah. balls. Um, oh, I, well, I could use so money, sad. you know. Fuck golf balls. <laughs> God, <laughs> money. Uh, any more announcements? All the cares about He's charity saying, select is gone. I don't... Brave. Oh, next Saturday, our campaign's back. The one that Dutch plays in, and I DM <laughs> episode seven on Saturday. So you have until then to catch up with the first six episodes on YouTube. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so do mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's gonna be good. Yeah, session's yeah. gonna start with combat, and then we're in a new city for them to explore. Oh yeah, because we like got to that city and it's... all hell broke loose. And the city was under attack, so you've been drawn in to help defend. Oh, dude, is hosting gone now? Or is hosting? Yeah, ho hosting's gone. You can only raid like into a channel. So you have to go live. You're about and then raid. two months behind, my guy. 
No, no they announced that it was going. They didn't they announce it was gone. It was I don't know. If, I still am not sure if it's gone, gone. It's I gone, gone, gone as far as I know. If there is a button, a host button, it doesn't work. It's like if yeah, because it's, it's, it's been extension. gone, gone for a while. The host button got yeah. removed two months ago, and then slash host <laughs> has been not working for at least a month. Yeah, yeah. well, oh like, Laura's the only one that actually like streams consistently. Out True. Of all of us, so. <laughs> Man, I've streamed true, like man. three times in the past month. That's consistent. Me too. I streamed like twice. That's fucking. You streamed like shit. three times this week, dude. Ooh. Shit. Twice, I think this week. I'm a Maybe. dude. I I can't wait for 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 God of War seems to come back, dude. Because I I'm balls deep into that game and I want to I want to fucking continue. God. Same. Burr. I'm literally like canceling my multi burr. normally multiplayer Monday stream tomorrow to play God of War instead because that's all I want to play instead of anything else. So. I've yeah, I'm in got same two new emotes for a guy who doesn't stream. Pretty crazy, you know. <laughs> Uh, one of which, courtesy, you know, I helped with that with that one. Yeah, I don't know if you, you made, saw what I credited It was your you magnum opus. Twitch. It's oh, your you masterpiece. Yeah. It's just fucking funny. It's hitting the hitting the Benjamin, you know. Mm. <laughs> God. Uh, do, do, do. yeah. I mean, yeah. Hosting is just gone. Like rating just drops people's viewers in someone's chat, and that's it. It's like if you go to anyone's channel now, the, the, there won't be anything on the video player anymore. It's just gone, which is weird. I don't know. I disagree with that move. No, I, I just it's no, just it's like, yeah, old channel trailer. Vibes. Yeah, yeah, or their no, old VODs. No, 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 no. What? Instead of having a host list now, you have uh, suggested channels. Which, yeah. if some of your suggested channels are live, it will show them on your profile. Oh, really? Huh. Yes. Interesting. Interesting. Because I, I went on mine after yeah. I had finished streaming, and it was showing the Dutchman. Yo, me? Yeah, Wait, I need to change chatter. that. Not what the? <laughs> <laughs> um, do I have any announcements? I, I, I thought I had one, but I don't think I do. So, fuck it. Announcements. Going once, going twice. I did my fucking charity cozy stream, you motherfuckers. And I actually enjoyed Animal Crossing, so I might play that again this week. Nice. Let's go. Uh, oh, dude. Oh, shit. Me, Quavo, and Ethan have to Yeah, you, you have to do Pokemon your four-way Pokemon thing. Oh, you do. Yeah. That day, we still won't give we anyone have to a, have a fucking four -man Pokemon to do it. Yeah, no. Alright. Alright. It'll happen. Quavo. Hello. What do you have to snack today? It's a sad day today, so oh, I have no. a bit. And because I I've promoted some unhealthy eating habits it's true. here, that is true. <laughs> so I was like, I'll be healthy. However, they didn't ripen in time, so I had a whole bunch of bananas, right? <laughs> <laughs> and they just didn't ripen in time. <laughs> so they're still like kind of green. <laughs> so is potassium kind of still poisoning fucked. a thing? Because I, I feel uh, yes, like it is. Yes, but not but not if you eat this many, you'll be fine. If you oh, eat okay, enough, okay, okay. if you eat enough bananas to get potassium poisoning, you would yes, be dead no, from purely. No, from what will probably food. happen is I'll probably have like. First. Yeah, exactly. So like one of them is fine and like sort of ripe. The rest is still pretty green. Just eat so, them real, fuck it. Oh well, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm the weird person who that's my preferred way to eat bananas anyway when they're still kind of underripe. So I would just eat them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for me it's fifty-fifty. Like sometimes yeah, I'm like, oh, 50 -50. nice firm green-looking yeah. banana. Like, but mm. yeah, so today's bit is sponsored by Healthy Healthy Living, and by sponsor <laughs> I mean I just man, I was just shopping. I was like, man, I really want some bananas. And I thought, well, this is a bit. <laughs> Have you considered koiba? <laughs> yeah, simply painting them yellow before you peel them. You're oh. gonna be so hydrated. I mean, yeah, because I, w I would do it with lead paint as well, just to really finish myself off. As long as you don't eat the peel, I think... I think it was still soaked through. I I'm not going to get into this. Anyway, I'm eating bananas today, so d d fuck it, it's a suggestive fruit. I've got well. a whole slab of lasagna, so I'm counteracting Yo. his healthy snack. I've got no, a no, no, I feel like Duke's overtaken the snack thing. My dude brought fucking lasagna to D and D. Yeah, it's just dinner, isn't it? It's not a snack. If, that's a whole. Oh yeah, meal. it's just dinner. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like if we if we started twenty minutes earlier, I'd be still eating my like fucking pulled pork wraps. So I mean, if like, we started twenty minutes later, I'd have finished the lasagna and I wouldn't have. Exactly. Snack. So. <laughs> Okay, guys, right the now. chat, I need you guys to be on screenshot duty every time Koiba eats a banana, just in case we get a good one, you know? For emote purposes. That was a good one right there, what do you mean? It's a solid, it's, it do, me, do me that solid chat, be on that, please. This is where we find out that <clears throat> Koiba holds his thumb while he eats bananas. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, oh never do that god. again. <laughs> You've made mistakes. Yeah, oh, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I should have brought bananas, dude. I peel mine from the bottom like a fucking freak. What the fuck? What? No, that's a nice... ah, the yeah, Australian that's right. no, you, you, you do it from... You're doing it from the right place then, right? Well, no. oh, yeah. It no. doesn't fucking matter. No. Is it peeled? Just know who gives no. a fuck. That's no, because sometimes, no, sometimes when you grab it by the handle, if the skin is being a real yeah, bitch, it's just like... And then it's I like bruised to, I like and like it won't... I just like to snap my bananas in half. 
and just fucking. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. How did you open your banana? Real quick. On the fucking top. Every top. week. Yeah, you're doing it the wrong way. Yeah, uh, there's no wrong way. Is it peeled? Is yes or no? Way. Who gives a no, fuck? That's the wrong way. Is Every it peeled? Week, yes or no? I dreamed of this moment where we would delay D and D to argue about the about bananas. mechanics of bananas. Fucking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up a banana by fucking snapping it in half next, all right? And you guys are gonna be like, oh, you're gonna freak about it. I don't fucking no, care. No, what you need to do after is that, you, need you just to need to bite through the skin. You just, just sit and pummel it for half an hour, and then open the top and squirt it like a fruit. <laughs> anyway, that's the bit. The bit was I'm being healthy for the first time in like a, it's probably six months. So let's go. I need a fucking bin liner though. Actually, to I'm looking for a new D and D group, guys. Any anyone anyone in chat feel inclined to? Uh, hey, know, rude. Play D and D every Sunday with me. Um, How dare you? Me, me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, Quibba. Yeah, 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 yeah. No bananas allowed though. Um, all right. Anyway, uh, if, unless there's anyone anyone has anything to say, last we left off with the party in Eldilon, just kind of figuring out their next move, uh, having learned about an item um, that could potentially function as some kind of uh, magical device that could help detect people that are part of the night web. Uh, Organization, cult, new world order, whatever you want to call it. Um, um, which will take the party off the continent for uh, you know a little a little adventure in Sagalia in uh, in the Empire. Uh, they also you know, spend some time relaxing, kind of kind of uh, re-energizing after uh, a long and uh, dangerous trip on the open sea. Uh, and the party kind of split off and and, and, and and have their own business to deal with. Uh, Davian accompanied uh, um, Celesti to uh, men like Quirky uh, of the Cartographer's Guild to see if there could be some more information found about this moving constellation. And it turns out that Halivara, the artificer that the party rescued from a bunch of uh, gone rogue robots or, or warforged or, or robots or machines whatever you want to call them, uh, has done some research and published uh, at least one paper about the subject uh, uh, a long while ago. Other than that, um, we left off with Elazrim being summoned for a meeting in the Prospector's Guild over or under um, at 2 p.m. and Davian is there with him to uh, to kind of, you know, back him up in case... Um, turns out that the, uh, owner of the Prospector's Guild, uh, a dwarven gentleman, uh, has some history with the Lazarin's family, some, some business relations, and he said that there was a, a, a guest waiting for a Lazarin in his office, which, uh, they could feel free to use, and just, you know, the keys on the inside, if you want to lock it for some more privacy, take as long as you want, was kind of the, uh, the message there. So you and Davian entered the office and were met <clears throat> with a, a, a slender, a slender figure, um, wearing uh, elegant robes uh, and the uh, long brown hair, slightly pale, slightly pale skin, bright emerald eyes, very similar to uh, uh, Elazarin's eyes, uh, as she kind of lowers the hood and. Uh, she has the, 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 the family crest embroidered on her robes. Hello, brother. And brother's friend. Sister. I didn't expect to see you here. I was oh, expecting father. Are, of course you refer to each other as brother, sister. Like, of course. That's just so perfect, isn't it? Father... Daddy! Sir. Sorry. I'm Davian, by the way. <clears throat> Take it you're not quite accustomed to um, people referring to each other as brother and sister? Well, you, you, why would you not just call each other a name? By, by well, the name. name is Loraria Claudia Vino Dunbar, if you prefer. Loraria. Loyaria, yes. Loyaria? Correct. Yeah. Oh, I can see why you call her sister now. <laughs> exactly, and, you know, and the... 
bit of a you know a Lazarus and Julius Vino Dunbar is also a bit of a bit of a yeah, but no mouth. one calls their fucking siblings by the full fucking middle last. Again, given... you've, not the, you've not met our family, have you? <laughs> oh, if your fucking has. dad walks in here and he says, "Oh, Lazarus and Julius Vino Dunbar," or whatever, you the probably fuck, would. Gonna... You probably would. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> father deemed uh, or figured it would be unwise of him <laughs> to uh, you know get out of hiding. And, and come here, so he sent me uh, on a bit of a two-part trip. First part was, um, you know, meeting you and, and, and talking to you about, you know, everything. Um, the other part is uh, I'm supposed to go check on a certain uh, Yuan Ti tribe in the jungle, which uh, you recommended. Our family would check out, so I'm going to have a little look and scout that out as well. At the same time. You know, at least you're on work. Not surprising that you know everything. Well, if you're referring to the, the reason why I'm here talking to you, I only learned about this uh, two weeks ago. <laughs> Not by father's choice, of course, but things happened <laughs> and uh, he had some explaining to do. Funny that. Right then, so... What's he keeping hidden from us then all this time? Um... Well... It's a long story, really. It's, um... Uh, some things... I don't really understand myself. But... <clears throat> given that you learned a thing or two of our... Unfortunate family history... You know... Uh... He wanted me to... He, he he told me everything not too long ago, and he wanted me to basically um, get you in, informed as well. Um, there is a condition that affects uh, what seems to only be the male members of our family. You know, grandfather, father, and uh, potentially you. Um, or any other male family member to come. Future generations. Um... Grandfather discovered this connection. Um, our family is in some way connected to Grumbar. Um, didn't know who this individual was, but apparently he is some kind of elemental lord of, of, of Earth. Um, and since Grandfather discovered this connection, it seems that Grumbar has tried to um, communicate with them. Uh, but unfortunately, his way of communication to the people in our family seems to have a bit of a nasty side effect. I do not what know exactly what he's trying to communicate because all it results in is, 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 is this whole, you know, override shenanigans, which I'm sure you're familiar with at this point. Um, father believes, and I'm inclined to agree, that Grumbar means to warn our family for something. Um, probably to do with his override and, and, and whatever else might be connected to it. Um, don't know what this connection means, and I don't know what this override is. Um, but Father has a few ideas, but to get down to the real truth, you'd have to try and contact Rumbar somehow. Which is why Father gave me this. And... She hands you a, a, a piece of obsidian, but you can see it kind of like emanates with this this green light, almost like a, like a green aura that kind of hangs around it at all times. This piece of obsidian is said to be harvested from the elemental plane of Earth and can be used to commune with Grumba without the nasty side effects. This is unfortunately all I know. Um, wish I was informed enough to, to give you more, but like I said, as of two weeks ago, this was all unknown to me. Well, if there's anything I know about Elemental Lords, it's that the warning wasn't for your sake. What does that mm. mean? Well, it would be more for his. She, like, looks at you, but like, she does not. Like, she's very confused. 
Well, you said you thought maybe Grumbar was warning you of something. So clearly you're of some level of importance to him because if your lives are in danger and he cares enough, then that probably means his is as well, right? I suppose so. Yes, you know. Um... So someone better, better answer some questions because clearly you two are out of the loop, but whatever's gone on, someone so... is of importance to him. Where did you get so informed about the ways of the elemental beings? We've got connections overall oh, with some. It's a long story on our behalf, on our side as well, and something that mm. you don't really need to know as of yet. But know that it's dangerous what is going on, and yes, in the I least, mean, as uh, you know, the better for your own safety, for God's sake. I don't doubt our family being. Forced into hiding upon your recommendation, probably connected in some way, shape, or form, I would assume. Uh, just a little bit, yeah. A small bit, but again, it's not. Don't know the full connection yet. Just that there could be one. All coincidence is going on at the moment, and. Coincidence doesn't exist, I don't think. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But we can believe it doesn't for <clears throat> peace of mind I suppose so you've been good though you are uh, no. I'm still alive I suppose that's yeah that's good um this um override shenanigans are you going to I'm assuming you're going to get more involved given your yeah interest we are in the works. Should the family be worried? The family you? shouldn't. No. I'm fine. I've got a I've got a group. We uh we take care of each other. That's good to hear. <laughs> yeah. All right, well that's good to hear. Um do you have any any other questions? Anything Well, None that would be for you. I mean, so is the old man not here? Or? <laughs> no, he's no. Um, still in hiding with uh, the rest of the family. Um, I'm not going to disclose where, just in case. <laughs> no, Don't blame the wall, walls having ears and all that. Um, I'll be on this side of the world for the next few weeks to go check out the uh, potential business with the Yuan T. That, that, you, that you discovered? Yeah, you might um, want to drop some names just to make oh, well, sure they uh, well, if you're going know where you're coming from. You probably already know, but you're going to need some of these, and I'll hand uh, five of my jungle remedies. Yes, I've been I've been told by uh, by, by the local um, the local temple. Um, I already arranged a, a bit of an escort. Um, apparently, there's this, 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 there's a Yuan T um, Emissary of sorts, I suppose. Emissary in training in the city, and she's going to be. I give Eliza a little punch. My guide up there. He's a good guide. Yeah, she mentioned she's uh, worked with you and your friends before. Yeah, quite closely. She trusts well? Right. Definitely. Good. Saved us in a few times. And, uh. The Prospectors Guild here is, uh been so kind to us to to offer us a handful of um you know guards to accompany us as well just as uh, in the form of some protection good to hear such a well <sighs> classical father not to come by himself though i know it's dangerous and all that but never wants to do the hard work himself is he <laughs> he did but now he has children so we can do the hard work for him that's kind of how it works right I guess. So, have you had any you contact yourself from Grumbo? Or is it just? Uh, it seems to have been grandfather, father, potentially. Uh, well, given that Elazarin is interested in all of this shenanigans, I'm assuming there's been some kind of 
or at least some kind of exposure to to information about it. Um, but it seems to only be affecting the male cool. side of the family line. Don't know why. Lucky for you, I guess. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> There's always weird shit among. I don't know. Well, I would say gods, but I suppose they're not really gods. It's always, oh, second son of a second son and all this shit. Like, yeah. I don't know. Could be coincidence, could be superstition. Could have something to do with his penis. I don't know. Maybe it's that's... important. Maybe it's important. Maybe that's why. Maybe. All right. Um, anyway, now that we've got that out of the way, um, hope you've been, you know, you're alive, like you said. But I hope, I hope everything's been good. Uh, I met with um, what's his name, Father Ackle, I believe, Ackle. and he speaks quite highly of you. Uh, well, we have been, you know, still got my jobs to do for the family and all that, considering. I'm making sure that I do my duty. If I can speak freely like here. <laughs> if I can speak freely here, you know. Um, take that with a grain of salt, you know. <laughs> sure, you have a, a duty, but... Well, we all do, and if... Let's be, let's be, let's face it, our, our, our family company and name isn't worth as much as it used to be, so, you know, those duties, you know. I hope what you find. Don't tell Father I said that, though. <laughs> Hopefully what you find will be enough to at least kickstart us again. That is indeed the hope. But we shall see. Just be careful out there. There are and it's hard you. to know who to trust. Judging by uh, the tales of your little group. Oh, we're handling as... ourselves all right, you know? Careful as one can be. It's the others I have to look out for. Yeah, I heard you uh, had a hand in stopping an assassination attempt or at least getting the people involved captured. It's, uh, it's no small feat. <sighs> Is that all you've heard? Some other things, but... So that's really important at the moment. Oh, no. Unless every story needs to be told, Davian. No, I, I, no, I just, you know, figured work would travel a little bit better than that, you know? Probably in the inner circles it travels a bit better. Yeah, well. um, You can put your trust in Siren, but be very wary of anybody else at this point. Yes, um, I've been informed about, you know, being, having to look out for certain tattoos. Yeah. I, I, I mean, this might be a bit drastic, but if uh, if things do go well with the UNT, it honestly might be safer out there than, than in the city, uh, with the way things currently are. Perhaps I, uh, I don't know, I don't plan to be in Aldilon or in this area for very long um obviously there's a lot more to do back home just to, yeah uh, of course i don't know just a word of warning you know just it's all a bit strange it's uh we live in a strange time a lot of hairs standing on end as it were all right well it's good seeing you brother Good thing you too. And uh, if you need me for anything, um, I'll be I'll be residing here for the next couple of days before I leave into the jungle. So you know, just just jump, drop by if you need a uh, need anything. I'll do. Take it easy, and I'll give her like a really just awkward hug. Just like yeah, like she, she also does. You can like, tell awkward, not like, not an affectionate family. Very much not. She, a... she kind of just like does this like hug and just, just kind of like while looking Davin in the eyes, just goes like there, there. Pats yeah. on the back. <laughs> no, 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 no. As soon as they go to hug, I'm like, hey, there you go, and I fucking wrap my arms around them both. <laughs> 
All right. It's nice meeting you as well. Uh, Davian, right, was it? Yeah. Davian, yeah. Davian Briar. Briar? Yep. Kingdoms? Yep. Interesting. Good wind. Yep. We'll contact you if I know or hear anything else, but best to keep it on the down low and... Of course, of course. Yeah, you got magic for that sort of thing, mm -hmm. I suppose, but... <clears throat> Painfully aware. Painfully? I mean... Not literally, but, you know, just minding your own business, doing your own thing, and suddenly the voice pops up in your head, it's... Always a bit of a scare. You get used to it. <laughs> the truck says, I will Stop there, down. And I'll kind of wait for Darian in the sense of like, I'll kind of like go to hold the door and just kind of just look down and sort of head nod to our base game to the first. Oh, oh no, the second I said get used to it, I just turn on my heels and fucking yeah, okay. <laughs> head over the door. Yeah. And I, yeah, I close the door and just sort of big sort of sigh like, well, and I'll continue, continue sort of walking out on, into the into the square. <sighs> Didn't expect as, it to be uh, as you as you like kind of like walk by and like Master Orfinder, the the master of the Prospects Guild, looks at you. One of them conversations, something like that. Uh, Going yeah. in to a room expecting a different person. I see, I see. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. You sort of set us up there too. You're like, oh yeah, they're spitting the image of your father, and it and was it's because he is. Right, right. Well, you know, I was expecting his dad as well. Well, I didn't mean to set no, it's expectations. Not, it's not I just saw him and it's like meeting his father again for the first time all those years ago, you know? How fun that must have been. He's all right. He, uh, a little more fun when he was younger, maybe, but... Being the prospector... Did you work closely with Mr. Dunbar? His dad. Uh, on occasion, uh, I did a lot of, um, you know, freelance type of work for him. Uh, just, oh, he, he, he found a deposit of some sorts and then he contacted us to come check it out and, 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 and see how, how deep it would go and if it was worth, you know, Making a making a mine, kind of thing. Do you ever remember him finding anything particularly unusual? Any any occasions stand out? Uh, make a persuasion check. Oh well, I just got my fucking warlock. What's it called? Thing that makes me mm -hmm. better at persuasion. Whatever. Pers persuasion and deception. Yeah. Uh, I don't have my character sheet open. How dare. Your invocation. Oh. mistake. Is it those? 19. Well, not him, but um, his father. Oh. Hey, the whole family um, tree. All right. Is uh, keeping this between you and me. Well, uh, Elijah, of course. But... Well, yeah, you two and me, I mean. Um, right, sorry. There is this mine uh, in the Goodwind Kingdom, actually, um, that we that we started, and uh, we went we went pretty far down uh, because, well, the deposit just kept coming, you know? It was one of the very, very, a very rich uh, mineral deposits everywhere, and we went, we went down, and... You know, the old the old man. Well, I suppose he's old now, but uh, anyway, Lysander he, uh, he was a fan of, of of being being involved in 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 that sort of work. So he 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 led the way, and um, well, don't know exactly what he found, and I'm afraid I never will. You know, given that he's no longer with us, but. Um, it changed him. Oh. 
What? Thought my fucking Discord fucking uh, like everything had died for a second. I'm dropping and uh, drop frames. And yeah, there you go. We're good. Sorry. We're good. Change them how exactly? Uh, well, it was the last time he, he he physically took part in any sort of venture like that, and uh, he got he got paranoid almost. Didn't want to trust anyone anymore, and uh, it, was, it was very strange. Very unlike him. And he never told you what maybe he saw or found? Uh, all I know Jerry. is that it was some kind Guesses. of some kind of gem of some sort. I don't know exactly you've what. you've never seen, never seen anything like that before? Fortunately not, and uh, I'll be honest, I've, you know, never told me. I don't know if he told anyone else, but... Uh, I'm afraid he took that secret with him to the grave. Hmm. Well, that might be very helpful. So, I appreciate the uh, appreciate your your candidness. Candor, I think it's candor is the word. I have no idea. I mean, either. Just uh, you know, this this conversation never happened, of course. Right. Naturally. Um, Elijah, Evan, we are uh, on our way. Indeed. If you ever need anything, uh, you know, feel free to come by. Uh, any friend of the Dunbar's is a friend of mine. What was your name again, sir? Fuck, I know his last name. Hold on, <laughs> I know his last name. <laughs> no, 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 I know his last name by heart. My, my Durindar Orfinder. One more time. Durindar Orfinder. Durindar. It's kind of like Orfinder, but it was like without the E. Oh, wow. Well, uh, well, you know, the entire family line did this work, so, you know, it's kind of. I don't know. Durindar will just. will do just fine. All right, well, it was a uh, pleasure meeting you, Durindar, and. Uh, Good to see you. I'm sure we might end up with business in the future if you ever need. Perhaps, perhaps. There's uh, a lot of land left uncovered when it comes to, you know, finding minerals and whatnot in this continent, so... I suspect that uh, the majority of the work for me and my guild is yet to come. I don't suppose just by coincidence you know how to get to the elemental plane of fire. He jokes, this one. He jokes. Like, you know, down in a mine or something, there's like, oh, a gateway... You almost had me. That's funny. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, elemental plane of fire. What even is that? Right. <laughs> we'll be on our way then. <laughs> what even is that, Jake? Uh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> that's like sometimes pushing Tabby out the door. It's like, come on. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Ta-ta. <laughs> yeah. So old Gramps found a stone that turned him mad. Yes. I mean, it seems to be turning other people mad. Me and him have something in common, don't they? Well, if they have similar, I don't know, similar ways of communication. I mean, given your background, do you think he put it in something? Like. Maybe. It also wouldn't surprise me if he took it to his grave with him and never parted yeah, with go it. Go dig him up then. I to. mean, well, why is that? It's created. <laughs> why the fuck would he take it to his grave then? <laughs> I mean, is it is? It's not going to be in his ashes, is it? Well, what if it is? What if we have to go? <laughs> you didn't scatter them, did you? No, no, no. What if they're in an urn on the mantelpiece or something? We'll pop round, take a hammer to it, well... have a little sift, take one of those pens that you. I don't mean to be disrespectful. I'm just saying, if he took it to the grave, like literally, then we we no, might need to find it. Literally, it's probably he hid it somewhere and he kept it a secret. It's more more likely. He was a paranoid man. Yeah. Well, apparently, with no help from uh, fucking Grumba. Grumba. Well, at some point, we'll 
test this communication method as I sort of like start tucking the obsidian like into my bag. Mm. But for now, we'll um. Obsidian is an interesting choice, isn't it? Because it's sort of the, it's like a little bit of fire, a little bit yeah. of earth, right? It's a little bit of mix. Used to be well. Did it used to be fire? Volcanoes are weird, man. Is that fire or is it earth? Because it's really just hot earth. <clears throat> yeah, I'd say it's tenthly more earth, right? But it was a Ganassi stripper. Back in the uh, old days, called Hot Earth. Okay, what's that? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> but there should be. There should, are you saying there's one somewhere? Oh, I bet there is. is. That, I bet is that there, there, oh or... no, I bet Brooks knows one. <laughs> <laughs> Brooks should probably, might, if not doesn't, if not know them, know where to find them. Or it would be something like uh, Terra. I don't know anymore. Um. I was going to say Latin, but we don't speak Latin. It's all... <laughs> all right, more old common. <clears throat> <laughs> old common. Old, old common, common actually. Mm. <laughs> Three times removed. I know Sylvan, but uh, that probably doesn't help. I mean, I deep, but I don't think that particularly helps anywhere. Well, yeah, you don't... Well, you just talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a... Duh, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> On a deep speak. <laughs> All right. No. So you guys doing anything in particular after your uh, fucking off? Meeting? <clears throat> You're gonna fuck Heading off. back. Oh shit! Did everyone else go to one place in particular? I don't think so. Right? We all kind of. Jax stayed behind at the giants. He's he's Jax tinkering on, on on stuff. Stuff. Right. Uh, the the other three. Stay where they're going. The right. other three went on. Went the somewhere mug. with the three of us. They went to the mug. I don't know if they shared that information with you, but they they. I I didn't write down whether we shared it or not, but yeah. Because we were kind we of told, we camped we out and then split up, right? Yeah. I I believe it was literally like the others had already left. It was just Jacks, and we were like, "We're off out. We'll see. You. We'll leave you to your tinkering and see you later." Yeah. Because I be I I Lazarus was definitely gone. Yeah, he's he fucked up. Gone. Gone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like Davian went before. We said we were gonna leave. So the only person that knows that we're going anywhere is Jax. Okay. We'll uh, pick that up then. So the three of you were headed to the Weeping mm -hmm. Mug, uh, Kess, Daigon, and Brooks. Uh -huh. uh, a small hop and a skip from, uh, from where you left. Uh, you cross the uh, residential area to get to the trade district and get to the weeping mug and when you get there you know all the usual suspects uh, are present uh, you can already see the man you're looking for kind of like he's upstairs like leaning down from the balcony he's looking overlooking yeah. the place a little bit accompanied by his trusty loxodon bodyguard as he always is uh, and as you three walk in he just kind of nods I mean, if if anything, like last time, Kess just like went right up to him and just started talking. So I'm assuming we don't like try and play it subtle or any nice. We just like go right up there okay. and we're like, sup? <laughs> Hello. So um, we figured it would be best to check in and maybe give you some details about previous exploits. I don't know if our uh, mutual friend has given you the update on that, but... She certainly has, but uh, she also, with that, had a proposal for me, which I am currently considering, but not sure what to do with her, so I might pick your brain about it while we're here. I'm sure if you're it's the very same well aware proposal. about her plans with the Trident. Yeah, just nod, yes. Well, what do you think? I'll... Should I allow her to use that instrument in her quest for personal vengeance? Yeah. Given, I'll... given Again. they are bad people, don't get me wrong, you know, I know the story, but it kind of goes against what we do here, doesn't it? Which is why I'm on the fence. 
But if you have any, you know, arguments to sway me, by all means. Um, I'll in sign language, so you might just get the odd word here and there, Brooks. Um, but just say to him, or si sign to him, she did mention on the ship, let slip something about a blood oath being made, and I'm assuming it's to our communal patron, and that that just makes me feel a little bit more at ease allowing her to use this artifact because I don't think the other the, the other member of this oath would allow her to abuse its power no, too no, much. That's, that, that, that definitely, you know, that's that's with us. So. Basically means if she fucks us over, she's, she, you know, signed, oh. with, signed with blood, I have a free pass oh, on well, ripping her throat out. Oh, well, then... Same sentiment applies, that there's some security in place, though. I suppose so. I have to admit that I'm doing my best to improve, but I did not understand a single word that <laughs> you just signed, uh, so... What, he replied out loud, I'm assuming? Yeah, he replied out loud. Yeah, it's you fine. heard his reply um, about the oath. Brooks, what do you think of the old captain, then? I think she's we should give it a chance. Got an axe to grind. Yeah, her and uh, one of your friends, I believe, I, right? I don't... I don't distrust her. But? I wouldn't want to send her to do it on her own. You volunteering? If she's willing to wait for us to do other business. It's like She it's mentioned not... she'd already asked some of you about potentially accompanying her. If and when this happened, and she also mentioned that she has to do a lot of research to even figure out where these people are, so it's not going to happen anytime soon, I don't think. I, I think, at least in the recent foreseeable, we are going to be occupied. We have a lot of shit to deal with. But... Anything interesting? God, you fucking... So much. Let's talk shit. about visiting various elemental planes... Not sure how I feel about that yet, but that that might be a thing that happens. The people that, is that we so? Run which with... one, which elemental planes? So wait, planes as in plural? Oh, oh, the fucking the people that we run with are all mixed up in the weirdest fucking shit. <laughs> I mean, let's be let's be, I, I, let's I, be I, real here. So are you, aren't you? I mean, look at this little. Kes is present though for this conversation. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> point i'm sure Kess would pipe up something like well i mean i feel like it's obvious what one of those planes is and kind of gestures at her arrogant her visible arrogant heritage is that so <laughs> okay hopefully bell can correct me if i'm wrong and we yeah, can no, retcon no, no. that but i'm sure she like Kess is not a silent person i'm sure she'd chip in i hate to throw this that. out there laura when you went here i was just like dagon's gonna do this because i think yeah. so yeah. just do that with Kess. there you go okay. it happens so... works for me all right so Daigon is saying that there is some level of trust with the captain because of the fact that I do have a free pass with her throat out if she ever fucks us over. It's a bit of an insurance, I suppose. Brooks, you don't distrust her, but would like somebody that you that you know that we do trust to accompany I mean, her on the venture. What's that... your what's your biggest concern, right? Because well, you mentioned this isn't the normal sort of thing for you and us and this, so... Of course, you know, as you know, your biggest what we, concern what we do is fuck. we take strong artifacts out of the hands of people that could do wrong with it and make them phew, disappear. So, so to then take concern... one of these items, with the objective being have it disappear... Oh, but wait, before we make this one disappear, let's use it for one particular thing first. You know? Okay. So... Is your main concern that you're going against what you stand for, that you're going to piss off Elsinel, or that she's going to fuck us over? I sign, or is your main concern the precedent being set? Because what's to stop other members now from requesting similar exceptions? It's all of the above, really. Then again, as far as the Elsinel thing goes, you know, there's, there's a level of trust between her and myself. It. it, it if I deem something 
the right move, then Elsinil will agree. I just don't know if I deem this the right move, but... Given that she's already mentioned, she was going to... She's hoping for you, and you all in particular, you and your friends, to back her up on this endeavor, especially given that this Jax individual is also personally connected to this whole thing that would make me feel a little more comfortable considering this request, given that, you know, three of my members are going to be there to ensure that the trident leaves her hands when she's done with it. I think I wouldn't again I wouldn't want to send her off on her own but mm -hmm. I mean worst scenario you have people that are, she tries to pull shit you're down a member who was gonna betray you at some point anyway well now worst scenario is the trident falls into the wrong hands it won't if people are there, it won't not have mm -hmm. faith in. No, I mean that's, that's what I mean. But if if say we don't have people there to ensure that, then I I again, it's it's your call. I would not allow this without at least two other people there. Possibly even on a hired ship rather than one that she commands. Not a bad shout. Where she doesn't necessarily have the power or command. He'll look at uh, <clears throat> the tusk as uh, the Loxodon is, uh, is is named and kind of. What do you think? And the Loxodon just like, kind of like, bends like forward and whispers something in 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 his in his ear. Would I would I be able to hear it? Because I could speak Loxodon. Oh shit, you do? Make a perception check. And yeah. I have big ears. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You speak Loxodon? My, the yeah, wait, the what? person what? who taught me everything about monk shit was oh, a Loxodon. Right. Yeah, My true. mentor was a fuck. Loxodon. Okay, yeah, okay, there you go. I finally get to roll the, the Daigon dice Let's for go. the first oh. time. What a, not what a one language. Not one incoming. Oh, I mean, it's such a not niche language. language. Yeah, yeah, what a niche language to pick and actually have it come up, dude. That's amazing. I blame the dice tower, not the dice, because also using that for the first time. Um, oh, fuck me. Well, okay. I thought oh, I had... Well, I'm, I'm pulling well, a duke. I don't have my character sheet up either. I closed oh, it by accident. Shit. You were the <laughs> first person to call me out, <laughs> too. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you honest, perception check? I'll yes. be honest. When Laura called duke out, I opened my character sheet. Ten? Yeah, fuck Ten you guys. People. Yeah. You don't, you don't, you don't pick up what, what he's saying. All right. First roll Dang. of the session. But uh, his excellence looks at, looks back at you three. You know, with his like jet black eyes and his uh, his his long slick black hair. All right. I'm willing to grant her this request. On one condition. You three are there with her. That does as, he, as he says that... Have to wait. Yeah, and so as he it's... says that, Kes goes, I mean, that was always the plan. It'd be too... Like, sounds too... too. It'd be really boring to miss out. Sounds too fun. Very good. And if that means that she has to later, wait a little bit, then so be it. The only way I'm approving this request is if you three... And I suppose your tacton friends are going to be present. I, that was my following question, but he answered Tacton <laughs> friends. That's all we are to them. You're not there. <laughs> Is that something that, uh, obviously, you know, paycheck I mean, will be involved? Speaking of which, and he ooh. takes a coin ooh. purse out of his... Um, ooh. Well, that's for the, his, the, weaver, his, the uh, weaver thing? Bag With and, the wood thing? We're double dipping, baby. Given that, uh, you know, job well done with, uh, well, both checking out the status of the Weaver as well as uh, retrieving the Trident and uh, 
getting us in our possession. I suppose a little bit of a reward is due. And he will hand each of you uh, four pieces of platinum. Nice. Nice. And with that, Brooks, I suppose this was your first official, official, official mission. Ensure membership. I suppose it was. Getting cold feet yet? Still here, aren't I? Very good. I think, and given, I should have done done this before, but, you know, given the three of you are kind of a, a package deal now, I think it's time to finally, you know, you, you were official members, of course, but there was a bit of a trial stage that you were all three in, you know, uh, the first few weeks of your, or the first oh. few, you know, a little bit of time of your membership, and, um, I just say a sign language, time. does Brooks get his outfit now? Suppose he does. Um, remind me, you've, you've, you you two have gotten your outfit already, right? Yes, and I both nod. Yes, the and Brooks, you've seen me wear it. I mentioned when we did went into the fort, I changed into a red and black, like stealthy looking suit type deal. Brooks, I, I know you're familiar with our, you know, our mutual friend at the uh, the Crafters Union, right? If it's the one I think it is that you're referring to, then yes. You know. It's crazy how good she is at what she does, given the extra digits. I know who you mean. And he will, from under the table, from under the <clears throat> table, just kind of like, acts like he was keeping it there all along, but you can clearly see him cast something and pull something out of like a little pocket. A uh, little, little, little pocket dimension type vibe. And uh, gives it to you. It's like this, this, this box. And in it is... Um, yeah, it's 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 an outfit. It's like a blacked out uh, linen shirt, uh, not as like flowy as 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 your clothing or Brooks's clothing would typically be. Very very like tight over over the chest and some leather pants and and some some leather like leather boots, um, something to to wear, you know, make you a little less visible in the middle of the night. And with that. Um, like to officially name you official members of our little shindig. No more trial, no more, you know, uh, aspirant phase, trial phase. You've all passed with flying colors. I should have given you this, uh, this, this, this official, hey, the training wheels are off for speech before, and you know, you too, but uh, given Brooks's involvement and you three being a package deal it figured it would be easier to kind of have these type of conversations with all three of you you know in the future so i figured i'd wait a little bit all right i'll uh, i'll let vera know about the uh decision given you know the, 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 the trident shenanigans and she'll have to confer with you when the time is right and let me know this elemental plane business is interesting, but um, I'm thinking uh, there's a couple of things uh, that I could use your help with. But if you're truly busy, then I can easily have somebody else look into it for me. So if, you're, if your schedule is full, then don't worry about it. I mean... The plan is is that we're going to be doing something tangential to our own interests to maybe fuck with some of the nightwebs a little, which I'm sure you will uh, approve of. So that's going to be a fair chunk of travel, and I can see us setting off for that soon. Any idea where that's going to be taking you? You know, don't give me specifics, just general area. Off continent. It's not very specific. Same plane, though. We're okay. not plane hopping yet. <laughs> the reason you're being so secretive about it? I mean, we're still... Yeah. I mean, you said... Looks no around, like, we're still in a semi-public place. <laughs> no, we're not, trust me. 
I want to say, well, we're going to Sagalia. Is that so? You wouldn't happen to go near, you know, Natil at all, do you? We but I need to look at my actually. map of Sagalia. I don't even we, know if we, I have the map of Sagalia depending... saved on this computer. We will be heading past it, I believe, depending where we land and which way we go. We should be in the general area, depending on what you, you're asking. Well, Natil is a small village, uh, mainly, um, you know, g given its if its location, it's 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 a farming community. But uh, I've never been, but I know of it. I yes, exactly. Know. Yes, of course, you're from that neck of the woods. I found the map. Um, I have the map book marked. There's a church in Natil that just somehow come across an artifact of um, hellish origins that we deem not fit in the hands of uninformed people about its true nature. So if you happen to be able to swing by and, you know, quickly locate the object in the church and retrieve it and take it with you on the way back, be a nice paycheck waiting for you. Waiting for you. No. Will just hellish artifact be a specific enough description to identify it? Well, <laughs> in one way, yes. You're looking for a very large tooth. Okay. Tooth that belongs to Asmodeus. Oh, Belonged gross. to Asmodeus. Yucky. Yes. Obviously. I just look at the line of, like, teeth and scales and stuff wrapped around my spear. <laughs> Quickly. Well, look back. It's very hard to miss, given that... I mean, it's about... <laughs> it's, about a, it's about... It's about a foot. Tall. Like, it's a pretty big... Big tooth. Um... I don't know how they got it, which is something that I would also like to find out. So if you find any sort of, I don't know, journal entries that describe anything, yeah, it'd be great. But, um, you know, any object or body part of a demonic, devilish, demonic, whatever, same thing, same difference, uh, creature of that nature is can be used to do many a bad things, or can be crafted in into dangerous things, so... Does that reason exactly why Arsenal has decided that that tooth should probably... not remain in their hands for too much longer? But like I said, if you're too busy, I can easily send other people to do it for me. But, you know, is since you're in gonna the area... Be... From what you know of the church, is this gonna be a... One, two, or three of us could sneak in, nab it, and fuck off? Or is this going to be a, we're going to have to get the whole group involved on our way past? Well, in theory, it's a small church, but then again, I don't know what they do in there. Is it is it hidden deep within the catacombs? Does the head priest maybe not know of it? I don't know, so... In is there an option? To, but... Is there some way we could perhaps communicate with you magically if we happen to have time to go and let you know like closer to or do we have to tell you a, a for sure yes or no ahead of time rather than a we're there and turns out we have time and we're in the vicinity if any of you and your friends so you three i don't think you three are able to communicate great distance i have a question for you might have an answer you you three you know you you're you're involved in this organization what do your other friends know about us you mind me asking uh, they only know about us two points at me and Kess. really mm -hmm. brooks is still under the radar for them would I it think. make your job easier if i played open card with your friends and have everyone on the same page you know uh. saves you from having to lie to them and sneak off in the long run, yes. 
in the short term, I can think of one person who might not quite understand the intent and and take some time to convince. Wouldn't be the holy man, would it? Probably. Mm. I mean, there's a there's a compromise in there. So I don't think it's necessarily I don't feel like we have to lie to the group, but also I feel like maybe with everything else going on, it's not worth bringing out too many questions at yeah. once. It might be worth having you two just come to the group and say, look, someone we work for has offered us like it's a job a contract while we're any going. Any other contract, yeah. You trust your friends. Those that aren't involved with what we do. Yeah. I so say not me yet. I would invite them and you for a private dinner party at the mug. Talk about some things. You trust them to keep whatever gets discussed during that private dinner party within these walls? I mean, I think your biggest risk of broken secrecy was this one right here and we're doing okay so far gestures at Kess oh, I was about <laughs> to be very offended <laughs> and sure Kess goes hey and gets a bit annoyed but I deals with it <laughs> the only time I ever the thing about the thing about Kess is, is Elsnil is very much equally annoying at times so I know how to deal with people like that um Regardless, <laughs> if you think it might be better to throw your friends a bone and give them a little bit more insight in what it is that you guys have to do from time to time, then I hereby invite you and them to dinner tonight here at the mug. We can talk. If you think that's the wrong move, then don't bother showing up. Okay. Um, All right. Good, good talk. Good the, maybe see you later. At the very least, you know, one of us will make a showing to let you know rather than just fucking not turning up, but we'll discuss You are it. too kind. Not a complete asshole. Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> if I was a complete asshole, I wouldn't be here. You make your money stealing. That's a pretty big asshole thing to do, to be honest. And yes, yet, it's stealing for the right reasons, time. but you still, you know, it's a bit of a double-edged sword. Morality is a social construct. Hmm. All right. Is there anything else? I have uh, some dinner preparation to do. If your friends don't want to show, you three still can. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people involved in this organization are going to be here. So if you want to uh, make some more acquaintances or get to know people better, this is an opportunity to do so. Don't have to, though, if you're busy. Guess we'll maybe see you later. We'll find out. Very good. Onwards to wherever we're going to meet them later. <clears throat> I don't really specify this time, we but I would assume back. back at the giant or something. We did say that we would. Okay. Well, we told we told Jax we would come back to the giant. We did tell Jax that, yeah. Because Jax was tinkering on something. He's and working Dazian, on a project. I mean, Elasrin never spoke to anyone. Yeah, Elasrin dipped. I'm pretty sure we told Davian we'd just meet him. Well, yeah, so. yeah, because Davian, we don't know he's joining him. What we know is Davian's taking Celesti on a tour or something like yeah, that. And talking just... to Quirky, so. Yeah, they went to fuck. And nice. that. <clears throat> All right, so you guys head on back to uh, the Friendly Giants where uh, where Jax is tinkering. Yeah. On the mm -hmm. way back, and Peace. I'll just have Cass be translating for me to talk to Brooks, and for once she has to translate me verbatim because she's there. You not go, here. easy peasy. Um, <laughs> no, 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 I want you. I want you to pretend to be Cass to and make then up what's actually. Yeah, 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 yeah no. <laughs> I'm right. not immersed otherwise. 
Yep. Um, so, th through Kess, I'll just suggest we could, which is not a lie, like, telling the group for tonight to say that we, um, we mentioned, or, like, some people, some people heard that we were traveling to Sigalia and there's a, a job nearby and asked us to come back later with our whole group to maybe, like, hire us for a contract if, if we had time, which is not technically untrue. You're right that it's not technically untrue. I do think that maybe they will question that. Yeah, well, that's on you two, the talkers, to figure out how to sell it. The talkers? Just throw it out that someone that you know who has a penchant for acquiring unique objects knows that there's a unique object and would we be down to discuss further details and i mean if we tell them it's helping a church then that would totally sway a lazarid he has to help them because it's a church right i mean that's technically, that's technically we're, we're stealing Kess agrees with me Kess is like yeah absolutely <laughs> that's his job He's a bad, he, like, he, he gets fired if he doesn't help the church. Technically, we're stealing from a church. But... <laughs> we're removing a hellish thing from a holy place. That sounds like it's in the best interest of the holy place, personally. I, I mean, if the others don't want in, we can only swing by on our way past the three of us. It would be easier <laughs> if everyone was evolved. It, I mean, it doesn't be. matter to me. Either we we do it or we don't. I don't really care. Just if we're there. Seems if kind we're of silly. going by, I mean... But the Whispering Woods is pretty big. Like, we don't know what part of the woods we're going to. If we're at, like, you know, the northern no, end, then doesn't whichever matter. Whichever part of the woods we're at, if we're then traveling yeah. home for me, then... Oh, shit. I forgot about that part. Do you have a map of Sigalia? No, but Kess and I have been there. We traveled through a lot of it. So I like we have vague. I, I, I know that you two have been to Stonefall. So we're gonna have to go south from wherever we are in the woods to Stonefall, which realistically and most sensibly would be probably going to Natil on the way anyway, so. Then I guess we should ask. The group. All right. Well, let's see. You you can figure it out. I. I'm not against telling the truth. I just can't be fucked with any arguments, and people will have arguments. And Kess is not great at defending herself, especially at the moment. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I just can't be fucked. Like she's still I, she's still a little traumatized and dealing with flashbacks from petrification, so she's still a bit subdued. It's almost like off she's today. Statue right now. It's almost like That's she's why can she, why couldn't she skip the week where she was a fucking statue? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> All right, back to the giant we go. All right, go so you. Uh, Get into the giant. Jax is probably is Jax in his room tinkering. What is Jax doing? Oh right. wait, before we get I'm there, absolutely like... in my room tinkering. Door is like locked and like boarded up with like a bed against it to stop anyone coming in. I say before tinkering. the other two get back, do we want to try and pitch to Brooks? Do we want to try and just tell Jax first and see if we get one more person on our side before we tell the other two? Just engage a bit because if, if also if Jax is a hard no, then we don't even have to ask the other two. I mean, we've got nothing better to do. I trust Jax. Oh? I, he's, you know... I don't think he'll give a shit about whether it's the right thing to do, but I don't think he's against the idea of, hey, we're being paid to go get a thing. Cool. Oh. You know, it's it's basically land piracy. Like, that's his jam, right? <laughs> <laughs> you mean banditry? We're referring to all theft now as just land piracy. I'm right, losing so the air, homie. That part. You wouldn't download it too. <laughs> so you, you, you three get back to the to to the giant. Um, we'll knock on Jax's door. A couple of and people see if he answers. downstairs in the tavern having some food, uh, relaxing. Uh, you go upstairs to Jax's room. Yeah, see if he's he'll answer if he's too absorbed in work 
just knock. Uh, uh, who is it? Your favorite people. And Kess. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, you just hear a lot of scraping as I move the bed away from Yeah. <laughs> bed? Oh, God. Uh, uh, was your day productive? Nod, yes. Quite. Um, before we get into that conversation, what you working on? Uh, well, it's almost finished. Uh, just have Everything you're making is almost finished. Um, but... You live in almost finished. <laughs> Don't judge me, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, what he's been working on is this pair of... They look similar to plated boots, but instead mm -hmm. of just being like straight plated armor, it's slimmer and sleeker and it's kind of like on the side of the bed and you can actually see like the sole of it and in the sole you see um the you see like normal like tread you'd see on shoes made of metal yeah on like the front half of the shoe and where like the heel would be and then in the middle you just see one giant like metal ring okay Ooh. with i think i know what this is uh, you know, a little wires going off, a little, you know, like it, more inside the shoe, and you know, different. Um, are you making rocket boots? What are they called? And I'm trying to create some flying mechanism. Hey, little Iron Man over here. Yeah. Leave me alone, okay? That's Let what me the whole fine, subclass. Dude. That's what the subclass is. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. I mean, no. okay. How is it going? Have you? Is it productive? Uh, well, I probably need a couple more hours to finish it and then test it out, of course. I uh, don't know if it works till I test it. I mean, I would happily offer to help, but I feel like Daigon is <clears throat> more, not more interested. That implies that I'm uninterested. Daigon, Daigon's passionate about it. The weird shit that you make, so. And anything that's not a spider is. Hmm? What did you say? Do you want to fly by yourself? <laughs> uh, fair enough. Um, <laughs> give me just a couple hours to finish these up, and then we can go test them somewhere. What could go wrong? I just want. I just all I want is just you know that like fucked potion of flying you we found oh, that like, I had. I fucking yeah, the just. One that, that like, no, no, when no. he says they're moon boots, it's because you fucking land on the shitting moon when you use it. No, it, Whoa! Just, it teleports you to the moon. It no, no, oh fly you there. It's, a, no, no, it's it's not a teleport. You just whoom, like a fucking firework. So it would be single use. However, <laughs> no, you if bet. he were to replace someone's shoes. Just the big bad evil that we get his shoes and just sent into the moon. Um, <laughs> okay. on. So, are you just leaving Jax to his tinkering or? No, I Anything mean. We're gonna try and propose our, our pitch while he tinkers. I, I, assume that while he's t I, mean, I assume that we're there while he's tinkering. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you guys want to hang out, yeah, that's fine. Because I'm, I'm watching fascinated, and I'm look every time you want to grab something, I try and hand it to you before you, you grab it, so I can pretend I'm helping. <laughs> nice. Nice. I, I mean, Jax is on, like, the finishing bits of this, right? So there's not very much that Brooks can suggest. No, yeah, it's pretty much all, all done at this point. Because this is like assembling a boot with metal on it. Brooks can help with fucking electronics and shit. You're out of my fucking league, mate. Mm -hmm. That's me. Okay, uh, so while you are heavily invested, no, none of this is gonna blow up if we distract you, right? Uh, well, there's a. Uh... 12.723% chance it could. Fuck it, I like our odds. Uh, so... We went and met up with, uh... Someone. Who has offered us a secondary job while we're in Segalia. Um, 
What's the job? There's an evil demon tooth that's in a church that's basically on our way to my house. Or our way back, depending what route we take and where we're getting landed in. But, uh, I mean, it should be good money, and we have all, as a group, been invited to go have dinner with this. Actually, I don't have to be vague at all, because you have... Do you remember uh, when it was just the two of us? And you went and did all the fucking smart shit and translated that little fucking note, and I just went and paid someone to do it? Uh, yes. The man I paid to do it uh, has offered us a job. What does he want with a demon to? What he told us is that he wants to get rid of it. Which, I mean, to be honest, is, it's a paid job. But, I mean, you don't have to agree now. He's invited us to go have dinner and talk over their specifics if we're interested, so. Well, it doesn't hurt to get a free dinner, at the very least. That's true. And I would just be more concerned of what a Lazarin's going to think. I mean, <laughs> if anything, a Lazarin should be... I'll pitch it to fucking Elijah as this thing's corrupt in the church and we're doing it. Uh, fuck it. I don't have to pitch well, it to Elijah. He's the fucking cleric of trade bullshit. We're getting paid to do a job. Surely that should give him a hard on. <laughs> yes, but then he also, you know, seems to be a somewhat basic cleric. Um, in, in that, you know, he didn't he want to basic, bro. To Fucking yeah. roast of a Lazarus, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, the they're fucking... just shitting on us behind the scenes today, holy <laughs> nobody, fuck. Nobody shit on Davian, okay? Tacked on friend. <laughs> yeah, well, that was the DM friend who three, said right? that. Right? Manipulable, <laughs> like... Keeping calm it down. from us, like... <laughs> My dude literally, like, we turned down job offers to be like, nah, we've got to go do shit for our friends. And my dude's whining about it. At this point, uh, like, I don't know, uh, if, if Laszlo or Davian or both were gonna head to the, to the, to the Giants. <laughs> Dude, I don't know where the fuck we're going. They're in the mug, right? Oh, no, they're no, in the Giant now. We're in the Giants. I don't know, where the fuck are we going, Laszlo? Uh, I will... Let's go for, like, um, we can go for a little walk for a bit. It'll be very much, they'll go for, like, a little walk. Um, just because he needs to clear his fucking head before he okay, sees okay. Yeah, the Okay, I figured if you guys would be going to the chat right away, this would be about your entry points, but in no, that case, we'll, it, we'll wait it, for a bit then. Yeah, he, he'll want to clear his head a little bit. Um, it, it might even say seven one puzzle. I mean, you can go ahead if you want. I'll just be having a walk around, but you're more than welcome to. Yeah, let's go to the fucking woods or something. That sounds good. Okay, so you guys going for a walk in the oh, woods, all right? Stretches Never mind. Wings. So, uh, giant, from the giant gang. Never mind. Uh, Sorry for the interruption. You know, he didn't want Kai to use that body for whatever Kai was going to do with it. That um, body of yours. I mean, fuck it. Like, nobody has to agree to it. I think it's worth at least going and having the conversation and figuring out what the what's going to happen. But I would agree. It never hurts to hear something out unless they kill you at the meeting. So. <laughs> I don't think he has any reason to kill me, and if he wanted to, he probably would have done it when I was there alone, getting a note translated. Fair point. Also, uh, so you're the only one familiar with this gentleman? Um, I'll, I'll, via Kess, <laughs> like, uh, you'll, you'll see Daigon signing, and then Kess say... Oh, well, before we met up with you guys, we also did a few odd jobs for him, earned some coin, you know. It's so not so different from what we do now, but just the two of us. What's his name? Uh, he, he's, he's kind of a secretive guy, mostly goes by, like, you know, monikers and titles and stuff. I don't know his actual name. So you want to grab an item for someone who you don't know his real name. 
He introduced oh, himself to me when it was just us two as His Excellence, which admittedly is fucking snobbish, but... Bit pretentious. He's a... An Asimar, I think. Looks like an Asimar. Ah, fuck knows. I mean, maybe he's just really good with a disguise kit. Oh, he's doing his magic. Uh... Either way, I just think we should be cautious. I'm not I mean, against this. We should be cautious in everything that we do, but... Somehow we don't, though. I... <laughs> I my and I'm on Kes goes because being cautious is usually being boring. <laughs> that's because Kes hasn't. I'm not gonna take advice from the woman that fucking her pants <laughs> stone, okay? Jax is right. We <laughs> should be cautious. That's why we go to the meeting. We don't make a decision until we've had time to confer. But I mean, I couldn't. I'm not in a position where I feel like I could turn down the opportunity to get two paydays while we're in the area and also go see my family. Uh, that's fair. I, I'm actually quite flush with cash right now. So, <laughs> not necessarily. You've not fucking been here to spend it. Rich flex, dude. And he just sold all that shit, like, this in is the last. Flush of like $800. Okay. You might be flush with cash, but also you're the one with fucking expensive tastes. Plus. If Eladrin's gonna keep fucking reviving us, that is fucking money, expensive. Money. Uh, well, he's got like, uh, what, six diamonds? Or five, no. maybe? Yeah, I wanna make sure that man never runs out of diamonds. Cause. I can check that. Uh, well, uh, I think I actually have one in my pack. That's what well. inspires me. You are developing a bit of a hoarding complex. You guys just t throw things in the bag, and then I go through it in every couple of days or so, and there's just new shit. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't mean that it's your shit. Uh, well, it is my Technically bag. speaking, that wouldn't work, because you have to, like, think about and know what you want when you, like, reach into it, so no, you can't really actually can see what we want. No, 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 it well, other than that, what, yeah. so every day he's going and fucking yes. turning it inside well, out and emptying the entire thing. Alone, he's a, he's a geriatric down. old blue man. Of course he does. He has to find his worthers <laughs> at the bottom of the bag because <laughs> they stick to the sides. Okay. <laughs> Side only they forget to <laughs> the pocket. It's I actually really enjoyed the headcanon well. that, uh, that Jax literally forgets what's in the bag and has to just turn it inside out yeah. every night when he goes to bed, remember what's in it, and then puts it back. Did not only is that the every... I don't know. Oh, fuck it. Not <laughs> only is that everything that's in the bag that we put in, but there's also, like, post-it note reminders to take his medication. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> bus passes in there on Thursdays and Saturdays. There's a little note, like, All my right. name is Jax. I am X years old. I live here. <laughs> <laughs> Please return me the 75 Elder Long Way. His name's actually stitched into the bottom of the um, bag. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna, if Jax needs it, we're gonna help with his fucking making shit. Yeah, so otherwise we'll huh? just try and be as non in the way as possible, but watch Jax work while we wait for the other two. Okay. Yeah. Meanwhile, in a forest near Elder Long, you guys uh, going for a walk? Anything you want to were discuss uh one point i will i'll turn to them and say well i was going to see if it was a fluke or not but and i will open up the book that i have that big fuck off fancy one massive fancy book oh, okay grimoire the grimoire and i will pull out the page that i wrote on Mm -hmm. um, that I hid there and sort of pass it to Davian and you'll see on a bit of paper in Elasmin's handwriting the word override written twice I don't remember writing this oh I was really hoping that wasn't going to be the next words out of your mouth that <laughs> uh, doesn't inspire confidence no when... I remember writing the second one but not the first one oh I had to make sure when, it was my own writing. When did these appear? Like two days ago. When we first got back to our dorm. No, it was on the ship, wasn't it? It was on the ship, yeah. 
I'm sorry. Like it was, it was uh, like the night go. after you revived Davian. Sorry, I tried that. The night after I revived you. I'm not saying it's your fault. It's a coincidence more than anything else. It was a night of good, big stress. It's probably a. Well, see, thing. no, I didn't think it was my fault until you said not saying no, it was I my know. fault. And now. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I... Yeah. I've been told about shared dreams. I don't know. And visions on revival. Had some dreams that of of note. I mean, I saw an Earth Elemental in one of my dreams. That sounds like it might be of note, given the conversation that we just had with uh, Loyaria. Mm -hmm. Yes, Loyaria. I don't know if it's a one-off. I don't know if it's a fluke. I kind of want to keep it on the down low from the rest, because I know what the others will worry and say. Until it happens again, then I can tell the group that yes, this is happening. It does weigh heavy on the mind. I can't reach my hand out to take the paper back from him. <laughs> I pass her the paper back. And I put it back in a fucking random page in the book and put the book in there. Elazar. So. Hello. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Can you make me a wisdom saving throw? Oh, throw? God! <laughs> <laughs> wisdom to straight check, not saving, saving throw. Saving throw, saving throw. Oh, I'll win these. Oh, no. <laughs> it's in that one. It's in that one. Oh, oh dear. For a total of nine! <laughs> oh. Does he die one. immediately in front of me? <laughs> Imagine. As you go to like take the page back from from Davian, oh, my back and arm. Yeah, <laughs> Davian, you can see Elijah just begins to like zone out, and it's almost as if his eyes are like rolling into the back of his head, like he's completely uh... out of it, completely out of it. Oh, Fantastic. I hate that. And yeah, I don't like that. Elazarin, you see yourself just in in this desert. And as you try to move, you realize, wait, you are buried in the sand, up to like, up to, from the waist down, oh. buried in the sand. And there's just this, this large, towering, earthen being oh, standing, standing over you. And as he opens his mouth, it's just the sound of, of, an, of an earthquake, of ground shaking. And you snap out of it. How long was he, uh... uh... 30 seconds. Oh, that's, that's quite a long time. Mm -hmm. I don't know, a minute. Uh... Am I, like, like still you, standing you, up? You or come through, and I'm just, like, stood there, like, still, like, like, the paper in your hand, you just kind of, you just, you just... Oh, hmm? Are you, are you back? Are you with, are you with me? Uh, yes, I think. I kind of, like, look down to make sure there's no sand, like, near me. I feel like... Check and check. Oh god, I hate that. <laughs> okay, I'll show that for the fucking wisdom save. Uh, uh, 22. Your pockets are a little heavier. And as you go oh. to feel inside your pocket, you can feel that there's just sand resting in your in your pockets of your pants. I'll kind of take my hand out, like with scooping the sand, and so I'll just hold it in front of me. Oh. Pull, the pe pull the paper out again. Uh, I mean, uh, you didn't actually writing it, but it'd be really fucked up if it was written in again, wouldn't it? I, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll look at a bit of paper. Nothing. Well, no, no, well, well, it's I still think this might be worth bringing up with the others. I'm just saying, I you just sort of think you now were just gone for about 30 seconds. A bit more important than it was. <laughs> As I kind of like unturn my pockets <laughs> and just loads of sand falling out. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, I saw that rock elemental again, <laughs> and I was buried up to my waist in sand. It looks like I was there, but I didn't move, did I? No, no not an inch. Good, good. That, good. Right, and... Oh, and I just saw like weak need, like you know, sort of <laughs> that like sort of fall into like a nearby tree and prop myself up. 
Fantastic. Right, right. This everything's grand here, so we should probably just go back to the the giant, I think. Just maybe tell the may I and you know I don't want to get a big deal. Cause like you oh, know, right. yeah, no, don't no, you don't want to worry anybody, obviously. Well a lot having a lot has happened with me recently, okay. I don't need another thing for people to be looking out for. Sometimes I might be turning, uh, you know. There's so many times I can say, "Oh, by the way, everything's fucked with me." Because of the dog hat. I mean, what's another drop in the bucket, right? True. Well, I'll think of something. I'll think of a way to say it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And I'll start just fucking walking away. <laughs> I guess we'll meander back to the fucking friendly giant. Okay. So I'm still trying to get all the sand on my fucking pockets because it's going to be bloody everywhere. You make your way back to the giants and uh, I'm assuming your friends are still upstairs in Jax's room. Uh-huh. Uh, as you as you get into the, uh, <clears throat> well, the giant, Cav nods at you uh, as you both. You know what? Need a drink? You look like I need a drink. I'm good. I think I need to be sober. For a little bit. All right. Uh, your yeah. friends are upstairs. I don't know. They all just kind of went upstairs. Ooh, that's good. That's good. And I'll head up. Thank you. Yeah, cool. <laughs> like, you look at Davy and like, is he all right? Oh, yeah. Just, I think, a constipation, you know. I can help him with that. I, I cook him something up. He'll, you know. Yeah, you got any, like, fresh fruit or anything? I... He really likes bananas, so... Uh, we've, got, we've got some bananas, yeah. Oh, hey! Yeah, got just one, put them got, out. I, I won't say... I don't want to embarrass him at all, but, you know. All right, all right. Yeah, put you on your table, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Right. I will... find the job on the Jax's room and sort of give a... knock on the door. You guys in there? Oh, uh, yes. In. Alright. Uh, was your date fruitful? It was alright. Was uh, a date not... for a second? I was a date as well. I was like, oh. uh, it was certainly something. How about that? You guys, you guys, good. You guys doing well. Pick up the nearest tool and I launch it at his head. Whoa! <laughs> Why? You'll uh, find out in a minute. I okay. will. You, if he is, is he throwing something at me? Yeah, make it oh, a roll yeah. attack, Brooks. I'll put my fucking shield up, brick. <laughs> Natural seventeen. Uh, what am I adding to it? Dex or strength? Or... Uh, just like a throwing weapon, so it'd be Dex, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I'm not proficient with it. I'm guessing. No. Okay, so dirty <laughs> twenty. Yeah. My my AC of eighteen because it's now a ranged attack is hitting me. <laughs> Oh, so that's like, fucked. Tower catching shield. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> Wait, so it does hit you? Yeah, it does. Yeah, so you... So you take... Two points <gasps> of bludgeoning damage from just being... Pelted at the in the head with uh, a, a what random the tool. I fucking catch it. As Fuck! It dings off you head. are the one person <laughs> yeah. that should not be fucking off in the morning without waking for anyone. Or at least telling oh. people where the fuck you're going. Christ a lot. I well, sort of, to be fair, he sort of did tell me where he was going, so... Well, I, I didn't was on... fucking know that, did I? No. I think it's perfectly fine. Am I here now? What's, what's the problem? I, my God, God, that hurts. <laughs> Shit. If there was one of us who is most likely to get fucking murdered on their own... In fact, there are probably people specifically watching for when you are on your own. To be murdered. And I particularly would not I like to, to see you die. I'm not one. They don't want to murder me. They just want to remove me from the equation. There's a that is murder. That is one and the same. Uh, you just said the no. same thing. No, 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 no. They just, you know. Uh, can we make a new rule? No, I'm not going to be babysat no, and chaperoned no, no, around. No, not that. Can we not throw my tools? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you're, I agree. You're right. I apologize. Next time I'll throw something heavier, like a table. That would be fine. <laughs> It's the table Jax is working on with all his tools. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and whatever he's working on on yeah. it. 
I'll fucking kill you in your sleep, motherfucker. Whoa. Watch out. As, as Jack says that, I go pick up the tool that was thrown and just like brush it yeah, off. Davi, and Davi and, like caught it as it bounced off of. Oh yeah, well, that, uh, yeah. never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Davi and caught it, so never mind. It's you. Screwdriver with Davian's blood. Uh, sorry, Lazarus' blood on it. <laughs> if you die, Elazarin, all the expensive fucking wine I have bought you is wasted money, okay? Not that wasted, the someone will find it. It cannot waste it, someone will use. But I'm not getting murdered, um, as I'm quite still alive here. Um, and I made, my, made sure I went to places where I'd always be seen by others, it's fine. Just because you fail to sneak away from everyone doesn't mean that you should try it in the first place. Also, I Places you could be seen by others. Didn't Brooks get fucking stabbed in broad daylight? And it's very sure he did. Yes. <laughs> in the back. Also, yeah, yeah. of all people to be talking about getting murdered. Hang on. <laughs> no, 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 no. Of all people that have experience being fucking stabbed because they split off from everyone. True. <laughs> not to mention, there's not an entire fucking cult of fucking powerful people th that are all getting matching bestie tattoos that want to fucking do me in. So not all of them, just the leaders, it's fine. Te technically, and all of the people there's... who do what the leaders tell them to do. Cast translates dumb... for me and says, technically, it. there is a group after you too, Brooks. They're just called law no, enforcement. Shut up. We're not there. <laughs> I have diplomatic immunity. <laughs> we don't have that. We, we really need to, like, find out that we do not have that. Like, no, the sooner okay. the better. I get that. Oh. And if we ever oh, travel... Yeah. If we ever travel to Ferber's footing, I will not sneak off from the group. I will Brooke's stay... going to be the, the first D&D character to be extradited. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that like, court case, like, months apart, the court hearings, and then, like... Dude, who's right? ready for the fucking court case story arc, boys? <laughs> <laughs> What's my bail? Ten gold? That's how much Fuck my last million. character was worth. True! <laughs> Well, just only worth a hundred. But... Don't fucking sneak off on your own, you dumb bitch. It doesn't okay. mean I can't sneak off on the ocean. No. I appreciate your concern. If you have to go, so if you really want to go somewhere on your own, any of it, just fucking tell someone where you're going. Oh man, I did tell Daphne where I was going. Yeah, right. Y you tried to sneak off, and you left him. Did you tell him? Because Cass said you yes. fucking. Yeah, oh, yeah, I left him a note. Left me a note. So you didn't wake him up? No, of course not. So you could no. have been dead before any of us woke up, apart we from still Kat. We, we still knew where he was going, though, right? I leave. I fucking... I appreciate your concern, and I'll take it on board for the future. I am not... Anyways... I think that's probably our least pressing concern at the moment. Anyways, dinner plans. That Kess just says out loud, just as a distraction to the group. And then looks at Brooks. Uh, uh, someone that I have had past dealings with here and is a little on the shady side, but not like, you know, like Nightweb shady, just, you know, my shady has... Has no tattoos, Kes adds, while you're talking. <laughs> has proposed a job offer and I did not want to speak for everyone, so I said that I wouldn't know whether or not it was viable until I spoke to you all, and he said, well, why don't you all fucking come for dinner? So we have dinner plans if you guys want to attend. It's something that, in theory, should be easy enough to do while we're in Segalia, and I would not mind having a second paycheck. And coming from Kess, who's, yeah, Brooke says it's on the way to his place. And obviously we're going there, because we need to meet people at New Brooks before. So this would be after we've collected the powerful I mean, and keep me in our possession for longer? So we still need to have a conversation with Primus about where exactly we're landing. That's true. Because oh, we up. if we want... I mean, this is the thing. If we want to go visit my family then, we need to figure out like, uh, they mentioned teleporting, but I don't know how it's happening. I don't know where it's happening to or from. So, without any of that information, my only guess would be that we go into the woods, get this fucking thing, go back to wherever we landed in, send off 
the fucking item back here, then we're going to have to, if it's anywhere near the woods, we're going to have to travel south to go to see my family, which means we'll be passing this job on our way. And by the sounds of it, it is at most an afternoon. Or potentially even on our way back from mine. It would mean that we are making some amount of money during the travel period. And not just... Like, I'm not then wasting everyone's however fucking long we travel to and from to go see my family. You're just not a waste to see your family. I don't it's think I actually... Times. I wanna... I, we might spend longer traveling to get there than we spend there, so... That's fine. No? I want to know about where I was. I just met a member of my family as well. Information for me. Regarding this override, and to be honest, wasn't the most helpful, but it's better than nothing. Sounds like all of your family. <sighs> or say that again. The ones that I've met. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> you would not believe his sister's name. <laughs> What's his sister's name? Uh, Julia. No, that's La that's just the girl version Let's of his just middle say, name. Somehow it's more ridiculous than Elazarin. Loyaria is not a ridiculous name. It's a common name. Loyaria. 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 And how is that spelled? <laughs> that sounds like a disease you contract. L o y a r i a. <laughs> oh, I even spelled right. it right. Who's not write this down in my journal? Loyaria Claudia <laughs> Vinod's number. <laughs> oh that. man. Not difficult to name. So, uh, <clears throat> while we're dogging on Lazarin a little bit. Um, oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, so he's getting worse. I don't, it's not your information to tell this, Davian, but. <laughs> and I'll pull out the fucking book again. <laughs> and, like, oh, I fucking hate that I'm doing this. Because every, like, our character, I shouldn't be fucking doing this. But I pull out the fucking bit of paper again. And try not to fucking read it, and try not to look at it, and like just sort of pass it over to whoever's. It, there. it just says override eighty-five times. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> like he doesn't look, and we look at it, and it's like all different like yeah, letters, capitalization, and, like, yeah. languages. Yeah. Override one, two, three, four, exclamation points, question mark. It's just a bunch <gasps> of passwords. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. The, the O is actually a zero. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I will hold it out not looking at it. And just wait for someone to take it. I'll take it. Dagon will take it. And I'll just say as you know, that'll be my handwriting on that. I don't remember writing that. Well, one of them I do, but the first one I don't. After having a dream of an earth elemental, it seems in my sleep I wrote that down. He also just like completely checked out right in front of me for about 30 seconds and then his pockets filled with sand. And uh, I don't know, that was that. And then he came back. So that the whole thing was a bit of an experience. I'm so I want to that... I want to take out a quill and try and write something on the page. What do you write? I also just write the word override, and then I stare at it intently, and then you see the shoulders slump like, oh, man. <laughs> like work. I was waiting for something to happen, <laughs> and nothing happened. <laughs> the paper explodes. Yeah. yeah. And then and Cass probably just like, what What were you doing? <laughs> just looks at me. And I'll tell her, to tell the group, like, oh, I was seeing if maybe it's just... It maybe it was enchanted or something that whatever someone writes in it, it just copies, and maybe it wasn't you, but no, nothing happened. No, I... I'm certain it was me. I had the pencil still in my hand. Oh, it my is God. his handwriting. Yeah, well, now there's one written in much, like, more, like, tilted, slanted, <laughs> almost, like, angular handwriting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dagon writes in italics. <laughs> Basically. It, yeah. And I'll kind of put my hand back up to take it and put it back in the book. If Dagon's done with the paper. Yeah. I it would. It. And I'll um, get a chance to look at it and put it back in my bag. Have any of you realized that 
not only is Kess, you know, a direct relation to uh, Air Elemental, um, Davian swore his life to one, and now you have some connection to the Earth one. I just look at Jax and, we pissed and, off and, make, and make the sign for water <laughs> and point to you. Uh, and not like actual ooh. sign, like I just mime like something that looks like, you know, yeah. like a wave or flowy like gesture and point at you. You are blue and a pirate. Seem yeah. Coincidental. Oh, it's been coincidental from the start. I mean, and you were the one who put the trident together. And... Yeah. yeah, that's because Lazarus was busy dying, and you. Were yeah, dying right. Or just and Brooks you know, and Dagon were running, and Cassie I mean, the whole water thing is just adding up. You know, it's just. I stuff. mean, we also know that in my. Uh, I'll be looking at Dagon as I say this. Uh, my grandfather's writing. I don't know if I said this to you, Dagon, but. Where the elements meet is a sort of theme, a connection. Yeah, no, we, we talked about that because I, I, I now had notes. There's additional footnotes on the journal entry I wrote about that place I was looking for. I know, I can't remember. I can't remember if I told you where I found that from or if I just asked about oh. it. Oh. Um, but my grandfather wrote about that when he was the first one to um, sort of start writing about the override. Um, so there's another little coincidence for our little group. He thinks that destiny has plans for us all. Or we just randomly collided. I mean, it's it's too much. Something is bringing us together. Destiny is bullshit. Um, well, I don't know. The whole the whole issue now is that like we keep getting more and more pressing things that keep. You know, we're relying on one another, so we can't really just be like, all right, well, actually, fuck it, I'm out, because now we're all sort of tied in. Well, I mean, maybe I'd... some have less. I might miss you guys, but I feel like I could just disappear. I don't. Th I think you'd probably find your way back to us sooner than you'd expect. I mean, imagine, yeah, either, you know, through Captain Vera or Captain Kai, or, you know, where, where are you going to go that somehow you won't end up. Crossing past of us again, you know? There's a lot we don't know. I'm in the early stages, it would seem, of whatever this is. This madness, or this curse, or this... Whatever you want to call it. I'm fine, but... I don't know what causes it. Copy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... Don't know what causes it, I don't know anything about it. All I know... I got given a shard to maybe be able to talk to this Earth Elemental. It's not something I want to do until tomorrow. I might be able to communicate better with them. What makes you think you'll be able to com communicate better tomorrow? There's a spell I know of that I think would help. Uh, well, I have are to you wait a day before I can... It's more that I feel like I have to pray to try and get my mind. And... I mean, given the the chain of events over the last 12 hours, I'm starting to think maybe the sooner the better. Or at least takes, to try, I mean. It takes a... I can only do it in the morning. It's weird. I don't know how to describe it. I just... When you try to explain in character that you can only yeah, swap exactly. your spell list yeah. Yeah, exactly. after a long exactly. run. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, like when I when I I don't know any magic spells that help me communicate with Kosuke, but I can still make it happen, right? Just somehow. I, I mean, think it'd be better to be most prepared in case it's needed. Because anytime I've heard this elemental lord, it's all been rumblings, right? Nothing so in common. So you need to be able to understand him, is what you're saying? Yeah. It's more that I want to understand him rather than him not being able to understand me. Oh, we might happen to know a couple of people who can understand Primordial. But I don't know if it's going to be just a one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know if it's going to be everyone can talk to them, just me, just no one the connection. Yeah, I can imagine if you were like, oh, he said... <laughs> that might yeah, not my, really that come might be off, you so, know? It might be yeah. a tonal thing, you know? Hmm. 
Oh, yeah, he's, oh yeah, he said and begins like scratching a fork over like a cobblestone. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> he gets two rocks. And it's like I think it was like no, it wasn't quite like no, 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 it wasn't that. It was more no, no, wait, I've got this, I've got that. That was it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip to the the back of my journal mm -hmm. and start writing a list. I'm just gonna start looking at everyone and be like, right, so we've got Cassie's. Dad slash illness. He's Flower. making a quest log, dude. <laughs> a Lazarin. Not only do we have the fucking night. Don't forget elemental plane of air for Kess as well. Yeah, that's the fucking illness flower. Yeah, it's because it's for the same reason. The illness flower. We've got a Lazarin's fucking nightweb shit and a Lazarin's fucking deep seated family madness. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Really comforts me. We've got. Davian's flame daddy. Also something else, but not important that we can pursue later, maybe, but no big deal. We've got fucking me being framed for multiple murders. Your murder mystery? And I just... To... Two, two Brooks, because he knows this one, I make the sign for a vampire. We have the whole fucking vampire just... shit going on. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Dagon needs to find where the elements meet. Yeah, so we have Dagon's mystery. I I go like that. I make a, like, ah, don't worry about it gesture and via cast translate. I feel like that's just going to happen at some point now. I don't think we need to actively seek that out. <laughs> oh, it's, it's still worth noting, you know, it's just, uh, while we're tabulating everything. Jax... I mean, Jax is still a wanted man on the sea, but I don't feel like that's anything we can deal with. Uh, I mean, I could serve jail time, which I don't really feel Bound like to. doing. Yes, we'll do, see you in Do the you have any, any deep-seated mysteries or revelations that so-and-so is trying to fucking kill you, or you've got some illness or... Some shit like everyone else seems to be. Look at Dutch, now. man. Fuck, fucking, what the fuck is Yeah, wrong it's because he's trying to drive dude. something out of me because he's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything uh, of yours that we need to deal with, whether now or later? Um, well, there's Celestia's little quest. Um, Stars! I would, th I would like not to pursue, yours, but. No, but I would like to pursue it, so I would like to, under my name. <laughs> Okay. Oh, so nice. Uh, and there is a person I'm looking for, but not like immediately. He's somebody I've never met. Name? Um, Ricard Pierslow. I'm just gonna write Jack's a stranger. Is the last one proficient in history? Yes. Make a history check. Bullshit. Oh, let's go! Roll shit. Oh, it was so close. It was so it close was to that. Ricard, it's what? Six. Six? What was the and last name? Pre Pierce. Pierce. Her name, like, Pierce. like you, you, you're like, I swear I heard that name before. But like, a, oh, you have no idea. Played, oh, he played that. He's that actor who was in, uh, <laughs> he was in Babylon 5. What was his name? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You feel like you recognize the name, but you're not sure. 14. Yeah, fucking god. He dated that other actress. Ah, what's it? You know, it's that like... I still give this like, I recognize that name. I can't think where. Can't be that important. Okay, so... What do you mean can't be that important? That is no, it's in like where it is in my brain where I recognize the name. You know, it, it probably from a book is what I mean. It can't be from somewhere that's probably deeply... Probably from a book. He I... probably bought a jewelry. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It's a name I name I recognize, but I can't place it. And it'd probably be from somewhere weird, is what I'm saying. Definitely not that the name is unimportant, it's just okay, where so I know it. Kess is our elemental flower shit we're waiting to hear back on, so So currently yeah. as we hear our current plan is we're gonna go to the Whispering Woods, get a powerful artifact. Maybe help out your friend Brooks with this other artifact or other item. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, is that now secondary to your declining mental health? No. Well, we can try something before we go. I can. What? Hold on. 
What was the whole whispering wood thing for again? Uh, we're going to get an artifact that will allow us to for the night and identify night webs. Right. Yes. Basically, it's all about our ladrin today. Uh, fantastic, because you know I love being the center of attention constantly, especially of when it's over my own. Right? Especially when it's over my own health and well-being, <laughs> and not just my general <laughs> grandeur. So cool. <laughs> you're either gonna you're either gonna go mad or you're gonna get stabbed. Or both. I'll probably go so mad I stab myself. Let's be real. I mean, Only if I mean your your dad's holding out, so. There's hope for you for now. Fantastic. I get to become a senile old man at the ripe old age of 24. It's pretty nice. Stranger <laughs> things have happened. You get unlimited candy whenever you're going through stuff. You have a few years on me, uh, Jax. I think I... <laughs> oh, I only have 280 or so. <laughs> oh, well, I can make that up. A lot of places do have a senior discount. I'm not Why are we not getting Jax? You won't be a senior, you'll just be senile. That's the issue. Why aren't we getting Jax to buy stuff for us at this point? Like, every because time it... we go into a tavern or a shop, just do you do a senior's discount? Doesn't have to pass. Or, have to I mean, I'm, I'm surprised we haven't got to the point where every time we buy card. drinks, we say, oh, Jax, it's your round. You know? And then, you know, next time he's like, oh, wait, I swear it was just my round. No, 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 <laughs> it's your round, Jax. <laughs> <laughs> um. Rude. Are we good to go for our uh, little intermission here, and uh, we uh, no. figure out what to do <laughs> with uh, the we'll, evening? We'll come back and go to a dinner party. We I'm always what to ready do, to intermit. Figure out what to do with the evening after uh, the break. Yup, I you. suppose. So we'll be right back, gamers. If you're new around here, hit the follow button for weekly D and D shenanigans. Uh, I I love the fact that you guys have so much like potential things to do, and I hate it. I hate it so much. It. I liked having less options. I'm terrified of the uh, idea yeah, that like, the thing is, I'm, the, I'm like my writing this this campaign is just vastly different to my oh, no, to the previous one. Where I'm like, oh, okay, I love the previous one was very linear. This one, I'm gonna give you all the fucking choices, and I you can do whatever the fuck you want. But I hate that there's consequences of the order we do things. Yeah, obviously. Because not. I, I love having choices. We'll what I hate is that right? there's no consequences. Like, what's the point? What I hate no, is no, it's not like, no oh, you didn't do this side quest, so someone else has done it. You don't get the gold. It's oh, you didn't do this side quest, so now Elazarin's a fucking babbling moron and Kess is dead. I mean, I'll take that honestly. Hey man, that's that's, so, yeah. that's oh, we'll good. be back in a few minutes, guys. <laughs> that's best case scenario, honestly. What the fuck? Hello. 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 Uh, so, can check your DMs real quick. Yeah. Oh god. That that's never intimidating at all. Like, uh, if you wanted to say that you did that, then that's fine, because you weren't there for the shopping. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, six, six. Yep. So just mark down four hundred G's from your inventory then. Oh, I he added bought that materials. Nah, he bought a shield. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, you see, I didn't want to buy a shield. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a, I, I had it in a different campaign. That's the only reason why it's in D&D Beyond, because it's actually a Griffin Saddleback item, but I... Oh, really? I had it in Vincent's Love campaign. Griffin Saddleback. Dude, Which I was why, wondering why yeah. I could find it on there, but I, like yeah. in my D and D Beyond app on my phone. No, like, it's a Griffin Saddleback speak. item, but uh, I, I, because oh, I had okay. it in a different campaign, I, I made it into a custom item on D and D Beyond, which is why. Are, I guess you are you still on it. the break? Are we still yeah, on the break screen was, in the stream? I had okay. a, I had a DMs open. Um, just check. Yeah, so mark down four hundred gold from your. Uh, then you're good. I also added that claw of the worm rune thing to your. Uh, I had to buy it real quick because uh, it's. Uh, oh, six, six, six. I had to buy it real quick because it's part of. Storm King's Thunder, I believe, or whatever the fuck. Awesome, yeah. I'm adding that called. right now. Uh, sorry, there. So if you refresh, it should be there already. Um, Okie dokie. We're back. Hello. Hi, gamers. Hello. Hey, oh. Still uh, in one of the rooms upstairs in the Friendly Giant, kind of discussing things. Um, so you want to just pick up where we left off? Uh, be my guest. Yeah. Just give me two okay, seconds. so... We haven't actually settled on. Are we? Is there anything that takes priority over going to get this fucking artifact so that we can know who's likely to jump out and try and stab a Lazarus? No. Okay. If we're going to get that thing, are we on board with at least hearing the proposal over dinner? Oh, well, for the secondary hear, job. Definitely hear the proposal, but. I mean, yeah, we're we're at a point that us 
schedule well long term is very very busy but as long as we're in the city i mean yeah there's Been no time. harm Far in clearing it out it's just before we do that should we see if we can get some specifics from the primus as to how we're getting there where we're landing etc no then i think we can actually start to plan a route we can do that afterwards i want to hit the proposal first before we start planning a route i want to know what we're dealing with i mean it depends, because we could end up on the entire fucking... You know, if if this whole teleportation malarkey means that we're on the west side <clears> of the Whispering Woods, then we're going to be traveling fairly far to go home. What's the saying? Um, we find out about all our options first and what our route could be. Then we decide our actual full route. Once fair. we know. There's no point in going back and forth and like, oh no, actually, we're going to be here, we're going to be there. Know our information first, know our destinations first. Then we can plan our routes. With, once the Primus knows what our starting and ending points are. I know there's bits in the middle. So we have dinner plans then. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Anything else we need to know about this person before we meet them? They're just shady, but not... Bad shady. Fucking. Fine, insight check. Uh, They're cautious. Okay. You can insight check. Yeah, go for it. I, I want to know if he, for? Gen he said they're not bad shady, but he sort of hesitated on bad. So it's more like because he does do perhaps I, believe they are bad, does, and he's just not he, telling does you. Does he? Does like, he have? It's more. Does he have? Does he believe in their intentions, or does he have? Does he question that? In, like, is there okay, questioning yeah, the intention check. of this person? Okay, insight check. Okay. It's 20, 22. Uh, 11. Well, Brooks? Brooks believes that they have good intentions. Okay. Brooks believes that their intentions towards this job in particular are good. Like... <laughs> Why did he hesitate? <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're, like... I'm, I don't know how much, like, how much do you get away with that? They're not entirely above board, but Brooks doesn't think they're bad people. Yeah, that's that's Where Brooks is sort of bad sort of yeah. That's what Lazarus was assuming, but when you have that, like, like us, yeah, like you know, exactly, it's that like sort of level <laughs> of they do jobs because it's there. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, then. Too many pickies. Oh, oh picky. Okay. So it seems you have dinner plans. Is there anything you guys would like to do before you? Uh... Head off towards the mug. Uh, two mental breakdowns, please. Uh, yeah, we can, we can fit those in. We can fit those no. in. Are we are no. we trying to talk to the Primus before or no? No, no, we no. Okay. At What's some point, uh, if you're still like in Jax's room, Celestia will kind of like knock on the door. Hi, they told me you were all up here. In the big crowd in here. Sure, come on in. Yes. Uh, so I room. um. After you showed me, uh, you know, I, I, I went, I talks a bit more to uh, Quirky, was it, I believe? Yeah, and, yeah. Um, uh, it turns out that this, this Halivara guy uh, published some more papers about uh, the stars and whatnot. So I think um, what I'm going to do over the next, I don't know, week or so, is I'm going to go visit him in his tower. If I get let you know that I probably won't be in the city uh, for for a wee bit, but um, uh, just gonna you know get 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 the information from the horse's mouth, so to say. Right. Well, if we weren't so busy, so busy, I'm sure we would uh, love to accompany you. But well, I know Jax has a particular interest in whatever this might lead to, but. Um, and if you want, I can kind of uh, just, you know, let you all know when I get back about my findings Yeah, you'll have there to bring us up to stuff date. Like that. So yeah. you're uh, planning yeah. to go to Strathmore. Oh, well, yeah, like his tower is uh, close to Strathmore, yeah, so I'll probably uh, head on to Strathmore and have a look-see. I mean, if you're going that way, then uh, there's a tavern called the Red Fleet. Mm -hmm. Where if you mention that you know us, you should be okay. Okay. 
Um, there's a magic shop that I would definitely recommend called the Three Sisters. Okay. And if you do go to speak to Halivar, tell him you you know us, and he might be more likely to chat with you. Okay, I will do. Yeah, I'll, I'll be in town for the next couple of days or so to, you know, get ready and pack, but uh, I'll be off after that. But um, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date when, whenever I get back and I catch you in here. Cool. Okay. Don't get murdered. Yeah, right. That's a strange thing to say to someone that's about to go on a little trip. Be sensitive. We're strange as a group. What do you expect? It's just, you know, something we say. That's all. Don't forget to smell the morning. Given smell our, the morning? Of... Yeah. It's not taken. been a minute for that. That's a good one. Don't get murdered. Smell the morning. A deep cut. It's a very all deep wound. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'll... Yeah, I try, I'll try not to get murdered, and I'll smell the morning. Right. What well, to live by? You guys have too much tonight? Dinner, I think. Fuck. We uh, got plans. We invited someone. We got plans. I mean... That's exciting. Not all of us have to go if someone wanted to have dinner plans elsewhere. Why are you yelling? There. Stare it's at that. Very busy, small room. <laughs> no, I, really, no need to shout. It's not very subtle. You okay, Brooks? No. Endurance of stress. There's a lot going on. I believe we that. We have a billion things to do. In should be good for the old wallet, though, right? <laughs> Fucking hope so. Isn't it always? <clears throat> well, if you guys want to, I don't know. Have some fun, hang out at some point uh, throughout the after your dinner plans. I'll be I'll be here, you know, having a couple of drinks. So, um, you know, feel free. Yeah, hopefully make it back here in time. I mean, we've got dinner plans, and then we've got other other plans. I think maybe it depends how long dinner goes. Primus before. plans or something. Depends yeah, but that's not before. you know that's not super important. You know, we don't all have to go. <laughs> What I mean, if you don't want to, way? Brooks, you're more than welcome to stay here. Some drinking games. Oh, Brooks, you love those. Or the drinking part, at least. <laughs> Alright, well, um, I'll be here. So bashful today, Brooks. <laughs> Just shy. I'm not going to dignify that with a response. That's in itself is response. All right. Uh, I can read the room quite well, and I feel like this is something I'm not involved in, so I'll be downstairs. Well, oh, if we no. if we don't make it back before you go to bed, you still got the eye patch, haven't you? Yes. Yes, I do. And I forgot what that was about, and now I remember. Okay. Yeah, same. I also blanked, but now I'm here. I was like, so, what? Uh, now I remember yeah, again. I'm, yeah. I'm with you now. I'm with you now. But she goes, no. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, like, no. I'm with it now. I'm with it now. I'm with it now. <laughs> like, actually, I yes, lost. I do. Um, they threw it away. All right. Don't Subtle. Don't do that again. <laughs> now, good luck. And she just darts out. Right. Fucking puts it on a different door. I smile and wave and gently shut the door and like I'm looking at Elastra uh Davium. You're supposed to be taking her to fucking dinner. Yeah, I'll probably be having seafood later. <laughs> oh, God. oh my god. <laughs> god. Anyway, I'm gonna go take a bath and get cleaned up before we go to dinner. I'll be back. Yeah, wash your fucking mouth out as well. With salt water? With fucking anything at this point. Jesus oh, fucking Christ. While he's doing that, would you guys like Tuna to Tuna chunks in brine. Fuck yeah, off, get out. Shot. Stop yourself. <laughs> You're the fucking worst. <laughs> this man. She's a fish woman, okay? What we get the joke, fuck off. I have some boots for you to try. I'm trying, what? You want me to try one of your inventions? <laughs> well, I, I think you're a very uh, perspicacious individual. What in the good lord is that? Is that a word? Is that a word? It is a word. 
It's a big no, it's a real word. wrong. Hold on. No, it's a real word. <laughs> I'm sure as fuck don't know it. Lazar probably knows it. I'm sure as fuck don't. It means having a ready insight into an understanding of things. Oh, um, I am using right. He did call me snart. Erudite snart. and perspicacious. <laughs> he did call me snart. <laughs> 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 It's, it's been really a rough really one for me, boys. Oh, oh, boy. It's been a It's been a It's like a bad one. Types. God. Like, doesn't this fucking anger? Oh, no, whoever the fuck. Oh, whoever just. You already know. I, I oh, just, I hate it. it. I'm leaving. I'm going to be the best one. I was actually. Anyway. I'm going to dress up as someone who doesn't know how to spell. <laughs> 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 oh my god, that fucking meme is just imposed. Uh, 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 fucking Bowser gonna be next week. Andy Koiba waits in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Not very perspicacious of you. Okay, sorry, continue. <laughs> I'll be over. <laughs> you could say that. Jax, you could say that, I suppose. And yes, I, I think you'd be able to manage my creation very well. I haven't decided exactly who to give them to yet, but... What is it, may I ask? Uh, it's better if I just have you strap them on and show you. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Sure. Okay, uh, we're going to head out of town. Looking for literally anything that could save my life if I start <laughs> falling from a thousand feet? No, is the answer, but you know. Uh, <laughs> and if, if you fall, I can. No, you. that's fine. Well, um... well, well, to suggest so, what is, it, what is it you made, Jax? So I made winged boots. How long did you spend tinkering on them? 14 days. And have you spent, like, have you marked down the money? Yeah, I've been mark I, so I had bought the materials. Prior to even mm -hmm. doing any of it, and then <clears throat> been counting okay. down the days very closely. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, do you want me to roll a tinkering check for them? Uh, yeah. Okay, actually, I think my new level I actually get like a little extra bonus. Just to mm. make sure. Do, 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 do. I have too many things. Yeah, I do. My proficiency bonus is doubled for any ability check that you use. Yeah, use your proficiency with a tool. Okay. So. That is a total of 19. Okay. That's you, Nazrin. You had to... <clears throat> is, any, is everyone coming, or is it just him and Yeah, Nazrin? we'll just tell us. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to okay. see. Except for Davian, I guess, because Davian is taking a bath. Davian's washing his junk. He's preparing. Uh, so you're gonna wank real quick. Head to the outskirts of town, or where are you going? I think that's yeah, what yeah, yeah. We're Jack heading said. out of town because I don't want um, him hitting a building or blowing something up on accident. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so you so People you leave, you your leave proprietary the city tent. through the gates, and you kind of look for a little bit of a clearing where you deem it safe uh, to to use the uh, the device you made. Yeah. Imagine. So you just slip them on here and then tighten the laces here. And, um... Does it take off my other shoes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I doubt I can take off my shoes. <clears throat> Put on the winged boots. Okay. They're a little heavy because they are kind of, you know, mostly made of metal. Um, a bit heavy to walk in. And yes, but obviously if you wore them more, you'd gain more strength. And, you know, it'd feel like walking on a normal day. Um, right. But then all you have to do is click your heels three times and, and think the word up. I will do as an instructor. I'll click my heels three times and think up. I sort of half set into my breath a little bit. <clears throat> okay, what okay. happens when he does that, Jax? Um, <laughs> you guys see the bottom, like the middle of his shoes start to glow as and yeah. kind of a little, little, little bit of smoke, you know? Um, and fire <laughs> shoots out the bottom as the uh, boots ignite and he goes shoot Jesus. in the air. Right. Do that thing where like one foot goes up and it's slightly unbalanced at first. Like, <laughs> fuck it. It's up like diagonally. Yeah. Whoa, fuck. <laughs> I don't fucking steer these things. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> cool. Um, I, I, do I have to make a check to see if I fucking get used to this shit? <laughs> no, I don't. Or if they blow it's up. magic. Oh, yeah, did they blow up? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's magic. 
Hey. I, uh, oh, it's quite good. Quite the invention. How fast can I go? Does it make it like my walking speed or is it like its own flying speed? Uh, I think it's equal to your walking check. speed for a minute. I think it is as well, but I could be wrong. Yeah, equal to your walking speed. I will sort of, how does this last, Jax? I say before, as I'm still just sort of levitating a little bit. Um, if my calculations are correct, you have about four hours. If Wait, not, four hours? 30 seconds. Oh, Let's see. Oh, is he just lying to me? <laughs> no, not at all. Okay, okay, well. Am I? I'm stuck going up a little bit. I've probably got like 30 feet. Oh, no, so it is four hours. hours. Yeah, it is four hours. Oh, shit. I'm going to go straight oh, up. Oh, shit. Like, I'm going to go straight up like 200 feet and just see what I can <laughs> see up there. Make a perception check. Let's see the Runs wall. Oh, that's a dirty 20. Can I see uh, my house from here? <laughs> It's a pretty clear day. Uh, you can see kind of like as you go up that high, you can see kind of like a, you have like a, like a bird's eye view of, of Eldilon, uh, people going about their day. Um, you also see, if you look north, you can see further. Uh, you can see a variety of, of birds kind of, kind of flying about, flapping about. Um, you look further east. <clears throat> And uh, what you see there, you see some, some carts traveling up and down the road. Yeah. Nice, nice little bird's eye, uh, bird's eye view of the uh, immediate surroundings. Yes. And I'm gonna fucking just. He asked me to test it. Let's fucking dive bomb it straight down and see how what the breaking's like. With like, fifteen feet to spare. Just gonna try and just go yeah, straight I mean... down. You <laughs> see how intrusive <laughs> it is. And, and you stop and you hover and rip at my feet. legs off as I do an immediate stop <laughs> and the chief just you know. crushes my oh! it's a, it's a bit, oh, but uh, it does stop yeah if I, can, uh, I stay there my feet on the other hand <laughs> oh, no, uh, in my <laughs> eyes <laughs> it just rips off at the hip it's just like, just, oh! that's what's happened with the g-force um hmm, they seem pretty good how do I how do I make them stop um, I I assume the way you started them. I'll go right down to like five foot and click my heels three times and just think down. <laughs> It'll stop. I think like <laughs> yeah, and you just drop down the railing five feet and uh... good. I'm glad you're alive. <laughs> yeah, same. I'm gonna take these off though, just in case they start to explode. Um, not that I doubt your work. Just you said that earlier, and I. <laughs> oh, no, uh, I mean, I, I should check them, make sure nothing's come loose. Yeah. So. I'll take them off and I'll put my other shoes back on. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know who we'd want to give these to. Um, but it's good to see them working. Great invention, Jax. I think it could be coming quite handy. I mean... Do you want to keep it for yourself so you can do it, or I give Davy in a high range somewhere? Uh, yeah, I, I figured we could talk it out at some point. Uh, or we can go to Brooks know. so he can get something. He can have flying things. Oh, so he has another way to kill himself. Oh, I didn't think about that. <clears throat> oh no! Imagine he straps. A... Oh no! Imagine he straps like a grenade to himself and flies up. He would be a firework. The boots, starts the boots and has the boots take the grenade to the guy. <laughs> oh, look! It's like a fucking RC car from Call of Duty. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow, some free <laughs> shoes, just my size. Hate it. <laughs> Counterpoint, I could just take the shoes, stand above people and drop grenades. <laughs> fucking yeah, bombing really run. <laughs> <laughs> but that's something a smart person would do. Yeah, you could true. buy like how you could throw a grenade rather than hold it stand in the middle of people and hold <laughs> it as they're intended. Look, we we buy the we buy another bag of holding. We buy all the grenades we can afford. We stuff them in. You fly over and then you turn it inside out as you're going over people. <laughs> you have them all tied together. Five hundred pounds of grenades. What we have that is how we make invented. a new crater. Uh, it's we have we're at. Explosives have suddenly drastically gone up. Would you mean you don't want us to carpet bomb people? <laughs> Rather not. To be honest. That's just one of those clean war crimes. I hate no, it. No, we need a flying carpet for that. 
Hey! <laughs> I fucking hate you. I like that one. It's better than all yours, Ethan. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I take favorite. it back. I don't want Soko here anymore. He's right. Um, Would you rather have Bell yeah. being back? Anyway, field test number one complete. So completed. Uh, Lazen didn't die. Nothing blew up. Seems that you have made yourself some. Uh, I mean, they are winged boots, but you've made yourself some. You know, you, you, you can give it a title uh, that you deem more fitting, of course. Yeah. Fucking Jax's rocket shoes. Of Jax's course. rocket shoes. Trademark. I can't wait for the rush that I'm not going to get around my ankles as he's put something fucking in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, your skin's melting off because I used... <laughs> no, actually, they never came off. I put on fucking glue. Oh my god, that fucking... Oh, that's permanent shoe. sticking glue? Imagine. Yeah. The, the inside is insulated with asbestos. Yeah. Wait, yeah, what the fuck? Lazarin can fly now anyway. Like, what the fuck does he need flying shoes for? Well, no, he, he doesn't have them just right tested now. them. I don't have them. Right. I, mean, tested tested them. Tested I, them. I figured we would give the per person in the party that matters the least to test them. And then... Oh, yeah, good luck reviving yourself, asshole. How about that? Like, give, give me three more levels than I can. <laughs> oh, three levels? Three levels? That's like two years. <laughs> <laughs> it fucking is. And even that? time, it's next week. Yeah, true. It's now. All right. We have to pick the person who mattered the least. No, Repeat. stop. Uh, we're not going to pick favorites here. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Cass. It definitely wouldn't be a Lazarin, is all I'm saying. Cass, because she's not here. Um, uh, fair, yeah. True. She's going to die of weird Ganassi disease anyway. True. So, what is it you guys are up to next? Hmm. Anything you guys uh, want to do before you head to dinner? Yeah, yeah just was have a bath. That would be all. What time is our dinner invitation? He didn't say a time. Didn't say. He didn't, uh, he didn't specify, he just said dinner. So, so we go oh, at 3.30 this. because that's my dinner time. <laughs> that, that's because Jax is old. <laughs> he got the joke! Guys, he did it! Woo! Uh, <laughs> I was like, I say, I hate the thing my mouth. I was like, no, I should have uh, done it. I love being back. I, it's only something. I kill a last run in his sleep. Oh, don't worry, his brain will do that soon. Right. So, so, dinner. <coughs> dinner. 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 Yeah. Time. The yeah, weeping mug. Yes, around, at, at around sundown, and as you enter, um, you can. Well, you try to enter, and the door is locked. You're saying on the. Oh, can, make, can make a sound effect at least, like to put some effort in for the for the oh, audio. I listeners. did, but the fucking um, noise. Do a little. Do, 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 you know. Oh my god. So good. <laughs> so good. Uh, as you, you just hear from the other side a very uh, low, deep voice. Who? Fucking guest of honor. You hear the door <laughs> unlock and open, and this like large, towering loxodon uh, looks at you. Bowen. Nah. I don't know for you. As we go past. And as you all enter, he immediately closes, closes the door again, locks it, and you can look around and you see a handful of people kind of meandering about, having some drinks. You can see up at the balcony, uh, in a in a like private booth, but with the with the curtains open, a um pale grey skinned man with completely blacked out, like jet black eyes, uh slick long black hair, wearing this very fine black leather with white finishes, uh, like, like, set of armor. Uh, mm -hmm. you can also see around the room, uh, you recognize, all of you recognize a female goblin, uh, who seems to be the same goblin that served you at the Red Fleet in, uh, in Strathmore. Mm -hmm. Uh, you see Jolly walking around. Um, other than that, you also see a bald wood elf, um, standing at the bar. You can see... Uh, Captain Vera is there as well, of course. What the heck and is. you also see... No, that's it. <laughs> and as you all enter... The other one's uh... fucking dead. Sorry? Because the other one's fucking dead. Um... <clears throat> as you all enter uh, this, this gray-skinned individual that I mentioned first, Kind of gets up from his uh, seat and leans over the balcony. It seems everybody that was supposed to be here tonight has arrived. 
Feel free to mingle, have a few drinks. It's on the house. Uh, dinner will be served in about 15 minutes. I go to the bar. I'm, I'm going to go get a free drink. Heck yeah. I'm going to the bar. Is there anyone, like, anyone I would, Davian would recognize immediately? Uh, besides the goblin. Uh, and Vera. The, and, and Vera, Vera, of course, yeah. And yeah. Dolly. No. Wait, goblin? Who's the goblin? The, the, the goblin that served you at the Red Fleet, the barkeep slash sir waitress. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess yeah. I recognize Jolly. Oh, but Jolly, Jolly wasn't yeah. Jolly. Jolly was the tiefling bar owner that the bar got burned down. Yep. Is there any way? There's no way. I, I don't know if. Oh, I guess I'm. Davian would start linking these things together. I'm making an intelligence how smart, check. How smart is Davian? He's pretty smart. He's pretty yeah, make, smart. make an intelligence check. Now we're restoring. Oh, let me fucking go. Oh, nine. <laughs> you look around and you're like oh yeah i've seen these people before the majority of them that's uh you don't really put one in, you know you don't you don't put two and two together, two and two together. Mm. as you walk up to the bar there's a human uh like kind of like a red stubby nose uh black hair behind the bar good evening can i offer you anything to drink just point to oh, what's, I what's visible. You. Point to Davian. Mm. Yeah, hey, there you go, Davian. Like to tumble into the well in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Just sort of rubs his fucking coccyx with a sore remembrance. <laughs> I definitely, for a minute, didn't think the second syllable was coming there, and I was like, "Whoa, this is a very different." Rubs his cock <laughs> with a. <laughs> I was like, "Whoa." Oh. My, his tailbone, guys. His tailbone. <laughs> it reminds of the bone. gutter. Drinks. All of you. Uh, your strongest. Strongest. I'll just point to whatever, like, house, whatever, like, is visible behind him on the shelves. That's, like, an average, like, like a house, either a house wine or a house ale, like, something like that. Of course, of course. No, ale, pints, uh, kegs, it's all in the house anyway, it's all paid for, so it really doesn't, I don't really give a fuck what you take, to be honest. Works, uh, I'll tell shine. you what. Uh, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> give me uh, a little bit of white rum. Right. A little bit of lime juice. Right. Right. A little bit of syrup. Right. Corn syrup. Some just sugar syrup. Right. Mint leaves, right? Mm -hmm. Mash it all up. Lots of ice. Okay. Uh top it off a little bit of uh sparkling water, right? So and uh mint leaf on the top. That's what we call a smell of the morning back home. Lovely and fresh and minty. <laughs> smell of the morning. It's a mojito. <laughs> <clears throat> and you all uh, get given your drinks. And uh, yeah, I mean, you're free to mingle for a little bit before uh, food gets served. You can see that, like, at the back side of the room, there's this long dinner table, like, set and, uh, like, set and, and, and ready for, for about 12 people, uh, give or take, uh, that would fit there to have food on, uh, on one table. You you reckon that that's gonna be where everyone's gonna be seated? It's like a it's like a proper everyone sits at the same table kind of vibe. Like one big table. Yeah. A bunch of people I don't know. Mm hmm. Man. A bunch of people you do know. Good job, Davian does not social anxiety. <laughs> it's, a bunch of, it's a bunch of people you do know. Like really? kind like like a bunch of people who. No, like yeah, but that's like it's like <laughs> going to a dinner party and everyone there is just like the people who work the tills at Waitrose. It's like like you're well, getting yeah, invited we, to your we've friends' we've like work dinner party because they could bring a plus one yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, like it's all your friends' colleagues and you're just kind of there because your friend was like, yeah, yeah. free drink. Remind me, Dutch. Does does Jolly know sign language? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's, it's safe to somebody. safe to assume that everyone. I can't remember involved. if everyone did, but I knew the majority do. I, I, I'm just gonna. 
at, I'm gonna go up to Jolly and just ask what what she's been up to and how she's gotten if she started rebuilding yet or if she has a new venture or if she's just like focusing on contracts for now. Like what's what's she up to? Well, I've been she um... she yeah she yeah she. I've been kind of uh, repositioned after uh, a little mishap on my part, which uh, I'm... Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> but uh, things are going well, and, uh, you know, I've, I've, I paid for that mistake, but, um, you know, all in all, could have been worse. <laughs> uh, ask if she's in town for, for long. Or right, just, like a couple after of, she's leaving. just a couple of days. Like, I, I got here for this... Uh, the, the, dinner but after that i have to go back so i'll be here uh, until tomorrow evening probably cool, it's good cool. to see you though it's uh i trust you've all uh, you've, you've been well i hear you've uh, been uh keeping pretty busy i mean i mean she was turned to stone he died he's having breakdowns of course i was like it's we've been better you know i take that back <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least you're all alive. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. And uh, you've been keeping busy, uh, some of you at least, uh, I hear, so. Yeah. With uh, some, uh, you know, word, word travels in uh, in our line of business, so. And what line work. of business is that? Well, you're about to find out. Just the whole yeah. room goes quiet and everyone looks at Devin. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> I was sort of waiting. I was sort of waiting for Dutch to hit him with the whole. That was signed, motherfucker. No, it wasn't. No, she's responding no, to Jolly's, me out loud. Jolly's I think. Funny. Yeah, I'm yeah. just signing to. Jolly was the one we no. procured a certain crown for, though, right? Yeah. That was this yeah. The... Mm -hmm. Yes, and the one that oh, didn't she help us also way back when get that yeah. the cart that like, when Kes yeah. and I are like we yeah. found a cart. This, don't this ask. Is, mm. This one. This is one where it's like the biggest. Like if there's anyone gonna be yeah. in the biggest sus on, it's gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going with Jolly? Because like that's the one where we did two fucking things for. Like, pardon? Did we leave that cart in Elvon? Ah, oh, fuck knows. Uh, <laughs> I think we we is. abandoned it somewhere because no, we weren't we able to come back it. for yeah. it. Yeah, we, we left it, it yeah, yeah, like on the edge of the jungle mm -hmm. and never went back. Uh, on the edge of yeah. New Darmouth, I think. Yeah, probably. Because wasn't that when like some people went through New Darmouth and some people went yeah. around? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did you not all link up on the other side? Because how did you travel from New Darmouth back? No, oh, I then we left it, was, it at the edge of the jungle. No, yeah, we, we left we, it somewhere before. Oh, I think it was before the, saving yeah. Valor, because then we got went to the boat and we're like, well, we're going on a boat after this, so well, we fuck got, it, and we just we left. Like, it. We got, well, we got teleported to Valor. Yeah. So, it so be, maybe it's in a city Aldi, somewhere. Be Aldilon, then. Yeah, it's our horses too. Thought... So they're at the stables in Aldilon, I guess. Yeah. We've just Caramel and Pepper are just chilling. We've had. Yeah. Oh, also Dutch. Before the evening goes two more, I would like to. Like just what dinner comes out, I like to cast borrow knowledge, okay, and give myself uh sounds a up. proficiency bonus in deception. Okay. Ooh. 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 Imagine not oh. having proficiency in deception. Anyway, um, the Did business you know of uh, you know, you've 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 you've, you've required things for me in the past, and uh, I heard that. Uh, the man upstairs is a potential uh, job for you all, so I feel like line of business goes without saying, no? Hang on. Material component of book worth at least 25 GP, Elijah, what are you getting rid of? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not, uh, it's not a used one, you still keep it. It's not you just a... have to have the book? Yeah. It doesn't you know, consume. You just you know, pull out your big grimoire and like. No, I don't even pull it out. I just sort of keep my hand on it. I just sort of. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Interesting. interesting. Okay. I'll accept okay. that. I'll accept that. Is he subtle casting? I mean, yeah, I'm putting my hand in my fucking bag and just sort of whispering my breath all like that. And... Look at like uh, Snape when he's. Um... Yeah. Being his. Answering <laughs> <laughs> Harry's broom or whatever. Uh, yeah. oh Are you trying God. to? You, so you trying to hide it a little bit? I'm trying to be a little. But like I'm not trying to be like really, really sneaky. I'm just trying to be a little sneaky. <laughs> like just being like. Make a. Make a stealth check. 22. Okay. Jesus. Yeah, okay, okay. Wish I could get that. <laughs> yeah, that that's, that's two of your rolls to get that. Might even be, usually it's probably uh, three, And honestly. about 15 minutes pass, and you hear this like, little bell ring, and uh, this, this pale gray-skinned individual from upstairs just kind of walks down the stairs. 
please everyone be seated. Dinner is about to be served. Welcome, new friends. Welcome, old friends. Uh, suppose a bit of an uh, introduction is in order to, to you lot who have, uh, may not be so familiar with me. Kind of like looking at uh, the half of the group that uh. has no idea who the fuck this is. Um, professionally, I go by his excellence, but obviously for, for you lot, I feel like a bit too, too much. So how about you just address me as Peter, shall we? His name will expire in 24 hours, but for the, for the night, I'm Peter. <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? Peter. I sort, I sort of lean over to them and I think, and people say, I've got name issues. you got too many, I guess this guy no, not doesn't have enough. I don't know. <laughs> Please be seated. Um, Maybe you could give him one of yours. First course <laughs> is going to be a lovely <laughs> soup made of... Uh, well, he calls it a soup. It's more of a stew, really. There's a, there's a lot of meat, lots of vegetables, but uh, it should be quite good. Uh, hopefully, no vegetarians among you, right? Good. Mm. Very good. And uh, he, he proceeds to sit down at the head of the table. Uh, the Loxodon doesn't sit down. He just stands by his side. And everyone else kind of sits themselves at the table, and, and you all can as well if you want. And uh, oh, first so course is served up, and it's this this, this big bowl of uh, it's almost like a lamb stew, but uh, like like a lot of, lot of lamb, lot of vegetables, lot of potatoes, but there is this this like very strong broth uh, poured over it as well. So it's it's Yum. barely a soup, more of a stew, but the the cook likes to dress it as a soup. Yum. Enjoy. So, obviously, we have some guests here that may not be too familiar with uh, the reason. What were you told, out of curiosity, by uh, your fellow friends when they invited you to this dinner? Just so I know what line well, we're on. We were told that you were a friend of Brooks's, who we've helped... Friends. Who we have helped previously and has another job. I no, he's someone I know that has helped me previously. If we're not friends, Brooks. I'm insulted. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the long and short of it is, you know, fuck all. You could say that, but the free dinner was on offer, and well. I'm, I'm sure you've noticed that uh, some of the people here at this table are people you've crossed paths with, paths with before, correct? This has gone unnoticed. Why do you think that is? One can assume that there are many groups at play. And guessing from... Uh, the company. I assume there's probably some sort of organization going on here. There's oh, many boy. tavern keeps in the same place. I don't think you're all swapping recipes. Before I entertain you with details, there is a bit of a. I would say an elephant in the room, but <laughs> you know, and he points hey. at the Loxodon. Besides him, of course. Well, it could involve him if things go bad, but let's assume that won't happen. You three, and he points at Davian, Elazarin, and Jax. Your friends vouch for you, say that you're trustworthy. Elazarin, I hear you're a fan of contracts. And so the contract is? It's called a, a non-disclosure agreement, shall we? That anything that gets discussed between these walls tonight remains between these walls. We don't have to sign a contract on that. If you really trust these people, you'll trust us to not say anything. You heard here for, first, Dagon, 
Tess, Brooks, any of this spills, it'll be your heads then. Good. <laughs> Glad we agree. All right. Yeah, saw that. Saw that coming. Nice. We're in the clear. Contract man turns down a contract. I turn down contracts. Not good for me. Yeah. <laughs> he only because because he didn't get to write it. He only likes the contracts he writes. Fair enough. Written, they notarized. Just know that you have just agreed to uh, your friends to befall a terrible fate if you do dis decide to. Yap. Anyway. We... But not us, eh? And I hold the fist out to the last <laughs> fist bomb. I, uh, I do that awkward thing where I shake it. <laughs> oh, God. That was painful to look at. Anyway. Good. We are part of uh, a small organization under the employ of a... Um, greater being. Um, I'm sure you, some of you may be familiar with... Uh, a fae, an arch fay named Elsinil. I'm sure the guest has mentioned her before. The guest has mentioned her to us, haven't she? She has, yeah. Okay. Kess has mentioned that she. She's mentioned her yeah. as one of the list of, of oh, yeah, higher yeah, beings. Yeah. She's yeah. acquiring. She's collecting like Pokemon. Elsinil, <laughs> Lyra, and someone else. And, oh, and Blue at one point was also like considered of similar. The... Tier on that list. We... Sahanin was in there. Oh, yeah. Sahanin, yeah, Sahanin. We started this little group as, um, you know, an order of thieves, right? But um, we were under the employ of uh, Trifle, the trickster god. But it seems that his position has been overtaken by Elsinil. And with new management, as it often does, sometimes certain. Guilds, orders, companies, uh, you know, new management means a new direction, so to say. Which is what happened to us. Now we still steal, but we only steal objects of great potential destruction. And we steal them away from people that could use them for bad, and we make them disappear from this realm so that they are no longer a threat. You yourselves have helped on occasion a couple of times retrieving such objects. Uh, a trident, for instance, a certain crown. Perhaps unknowingly, but you've aided in our cause. Like a nuclear disarmament uh, group. <laughs> <laughs> you say removed from this realm. Mm -hmm. So still intact as items, just not on this plane. Yes, just locked away in pocket dimensions within pocket dimensions within pocket dimensions so that nobody can get to them. Well, not nobody, but... Very hard. The people that uh, still have access uh, will not use these items for anything bad if they get used at all. So, you know, now that's a bit and of information. So clarify, Sorry? you're arming it Archfey who killed a different god to become a god with items of great power to be hidden away only by her to never be seen or accessed by anyone but her. No. For, okay, let, let's dissect that. That's a lot of things, a lot of assumptions you're making, and I'd like to go through them one by one. Uh, arming a god that killed another god, we're not arming a god. Uh, gods fight and quarrel all the time and uh, sometimes gods fall in the process it is a very normal order of things what else did you say sorry you waffled a lot <laughs> I'm sorry i'm a little He's the, god thing. the, I didn't the really main key points were that and the the fact that items only she can access uh she's not the only one with access if that makes you feel a bit better or worse i don't know but let's just say that um that crown that you uh, acquired and the trident that you recently uh, acquired uh, are being kept away for safekeeping. It is things like that that, that that can turn into weapons of great destruction and if they, f you know, in the wrong hands, like for instance, the bitch queen and her lackeys or whoever else can end this realm as we know it. I'm quite fond of living on this realm, wouldn't you agree? Oh, 
sure well I've been here for 300 years. Which, I mean, goes to show that you enjoy living here, right? Or, or else why would you stay here for so long? No? Uh, waiting for the bucket to kick. Aren't we all, my friend? So. We are not arming a guard with a bunch of powerful weapons. It's not the case at all. Actually, well... It seems, above all that, besides all that, that there's a bit of a common enemy that we share. No? Nobody's spider going to- game. Nobody's going to bite? Spider game. I just make the sign for spider. Ding, 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 ding. Which- And then to the group, I just point to, like, your shoulder and go like this, almost like spreading- Seems that, uh... Hand gesture. The Nightwebs have taken some interest in you, and uh, they have been working against uh, us for a very long time as well. The enemy of my enemy, as they say, could be my friend. Two groups working to get the same items, though. It's not... No, 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 no. They... Well, I shouldn't have to tell you, of all people. They like information, they like influence, and they like to have all the fingers in all the pies, right? Wouldn't you agree? Is that, isn't that not their, uh, their MO? It's one of theirs. Well, we are an organization that they don't know anything of. And that bothers them. A pie that they have yet to finger, you might say. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wouldn't perhaps not put it that way, but yes. They've tried, um, you know, you, you went to uh, a certain keep not so long ago, and some of you found one of my people tortured and dead in one of the cells. They've tried fingering this pie, but uh, to no avail, and I'm sorry it's sticking with me now. It's, it's a blame your friend, all right? I would like to, well... Obviously, some of you are a little bit more involved with us than others, but for those that aren't involved with us at all, I, I'm not asking you to pledge your allegiance. I'm just asking you for a short-term alliance, so to say. Can we make some, make you some good coin on the way as well? But uh, mainly, you know, we don't have to... Uh, so go at these night webs separately. Something that, you know, a bit of a joint venture, perhaps. Or, you know, if you need assistance, we need assistance, we can help each other out. The, that's, that's, you know, the longer, you know, the, the bigger picture. For now, I figured with three of your group having a little bit more history with us, and I offer them a job, and they wanted it to be discussed with all of you as well, and I don't want them to have to lie to you uh, on your trips. So I figured I'd offer you all the job, and, and we'll talk about it, and perhaps that will be a stepping stone into, you know, working towards a more longer-term working relationship. You still with me? I mean, for the moment, I guess... Yeah. But we're robbing a church. But if you know as much of my past as you say you do, mm -hmm. you could surely understand my hesitancy. Of course, of course, which is why I figured this might be the right move to make, you know, play open card with you. And as long as you promise to not mention or discuss anything that was said within these walls when you leave, you can, you're can free to leave. But if I hear that you've been yapping, then there's going to be consequences, but... I don't think it'll have to go that far. I hope not. Really keeping secrets. So if any of you feel inclined to leave and don't want to hear out the rest of this offer, then the door's right there. He is in the lock. Feel free. And he waits a few seconds. I just sort of sit there, staring at him. It's like looking at all the members of the group, just waiting to see. Well, the other three that didn't know. I, si I sip my smell of the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just staring at him, like in his like literally like there's no white in his yeah. eyes. It's just these jet black oh, eyes. Just like staring. 
Very good. He's a demon from Supernatural. <laughs> well, he's not. He's a, just an Asmar. <laughs> no, uh, I know, I know. But I mean, nah. just in terms of aesthetic. Yeah, I guess. That's my touchstone for solid you black eyes. Robbing a church. That is true. But there's a big but there. This particular church has come across a tooth. A tooth that belongs to Asmodeus. Well, does anyone here need a bit of a history lesson who Asmodeus is? I, I raise my... Dagon raises her hand. Fair enough. No, I don't works. know anything about demons. I just, that's just so like, oh, I've heard about this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> God. All right. That, that's day one. Asmodeus up his, uh, Asmodeus is... Uh, is uh, the king of all the devils. You have all the devils, and you've Asmodeus ruling all of them. Bad news, right? Would we all agree? Artifacts are continuously made, sometimes, you know, from, from body parts, such as a tooth from a very powerful being, and they can be made into gods know what. Weapons of mass destruction, magical artifacts that tear... I don't even dare to imagine. So... Elsinil has decided that it would be better for this plane of existence to remove this tooth. Why the church has it, how they got it, I don't know. But they have it, and whether they have ill will with it or not, it is better for everyone that they, you know, misplace it. This isn't the sort of thing that, like, we're going to touch it and, like, shrivel up into a little ball and die. I wouldn't know. Just try to, uh, avoid touching it with your skin. Maybe, uh, you know, wrap it in cloth or something. Elijah, can you get, like, holy cloth? <laughs> cloth has, like, holy oil on it or something. Right, sure. Or holy oil, you know. Does that mean you're interested? I have just a question. Uh, I've got a couple as well. But... How much are you sort of in league with the council and the primus, for example? Um. Well. Uh, let's just say that the order that we all belong to is. To the law enforcement, it's like this this, this this ghost story. You have orders of thieves and thieves guilds and whatnot, and then they're like, oh, but this order, and people are like, oh, that's not real. That's who we are. They'll probably know of our existence, but they don't, they don't know anything about the they involvement. They can't prove it. So they can't prove it, exactly. We have another quest. Yes. In the nearby area. Which is why um, I offered this job to you, because your friends told me you were going to be in that neighborhood. It worries me that we may have less time than we'd like, especially if we're having to deal with other items. Mm -hmm. How what would be the dropping off point for this? How long would you want us to be having this in our possession? Um, well, all of our workplaces are on the continent, unfortunately. We do not really have any offices in uh, <clears throat> the Empire, but we have allies. These allies you trust with such a item? Yes. And how far away are they from this church? This church? I think... Kind of, he kind of like taps his Loxodon uh, pal on the on the in on like on the waist, and he opens his bag and pulls out a map of Segalia. Let's have a look, see. Oh, we have uh, Darmouth, Foothills, Amadorn, Stonefall, Whisper Dock. Are places where I have allies. Does any of those places work? Please, please repeat that. I'm making notes. 
Daramoth's right there. Daramoth, Foothills, Hamadon, Stonefall, Wispidoc. Does any of those places suffice? I also have to look at Brooks, because he is the one who knows Sigalia better than I do. And like guess I can't so write at... and think. I know. I mean Stonefall is where you're going for Brooks's uh family. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I thought I heard you say Stonefall, yes. but I was yeah. I was writing the first three. Yeah, yeah. I mean Stonefall is probably quite a good place. Out of interest. Mm hmm Who's this person in Stonefall? <laughs> I knew you would fight. Do you want me to spoil the surprise? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Brooks don't like surprises. Well, let's just say you're going to have to... Uh... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> probably need something, a, a description at least of this person. Can't exactly go in there and be like, do yeah, you know this? Know. If we're not allowed to speak. Hold on, hold on. I'm quickly opening my notes, making sure that I don't fuck it up. The name is John John. John. <laughs> <laughs> twice. John John Venor Dunbar. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's a legend of my great uncle John John. Great uncle John John. Uncle John John. Great uncle John John. I think John. you're pretty familiar with uh, this individual. A Yorick Whitaker. Yeah. Yeah. How, how pale does Brooks's face go hearing this fucking name? <laughs> I wouldn't say Brooks has gone pale. That's right. He looks mildly annoyed, but not uncomfortable. That's right. Mildly annoyed. If history with this man, man, Brooks? I would assume that if this man is someone you know, you know that I am well that I have a history with him. I'm aware. Is that going to be a problem? Know. It's not a bad history, I just don't see the point in asking a question you already know the answer to. It's called a rhetorical question, Brooks. They exist. Sure. Um, I'm not saying you have a bad history with them, but, you know, with you leaving that place all behind, I don't know if Stonefall would be a place where you would want to go back to. So, we if not Stonefall, planning... there's other places for you to, uh, to go to instead. We were planning to go there anyway. But, you know, I have means of not being recognized. That's why well, Yorick Whitaker is uh, an ally of mine, who you can drop off this uh, item with safely, and he'll have means for the item to be in my possession probably the next day. And then, no. as far as payment goes, you know, just next time you see me here in Eldilon, pop by and... Uh... What is the payment? Never really said. I was thinking 10 platinum each. Nice, nice. One million dollars. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> this should be, on paper, this is a simple, you know, in and out type of uh, job. Um, say things turn out to be a little more complex. You know. Obviously, uh, I have a rule, several rules for my people, but I'm going to recite... The most important one to you, just in case. You are not to kill or harm any of the people of the church unless provoked by violence. Robbie, no. Zay. Coincidence. They found it. They don't have any ill will. And they are innocent people. They are not to be harmed. If... However, you find evidence that proves the opposite and you see yourself attacked, by all means. But innocent until proven guilty. A rat among thieves. Who'd have thought? We're thieves, not murderers. Okay. 
Mr. DM. Hello. While all this is being said, mm -hmm. I would like to try and commit to memory. Okay. Every individual in that room. Okay. The um, ones I know by name and the ones I don't know by description. You don't have to tell me them all now. Make an intelligence check. Oh, interesting. All right, again. Okay, come on. I'm not using the same <laughs> dice. Here we go. Don't roll a nine. Nate. Seven. Oh, <laughs> uh, nope. Are you, no way. Um, are you proficient in history, by chance? Nope. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, man. My intelligence isn't bad. My intelligence, my intelligence is 14, but the dice, did you not like me? The dice suck uh, Dice are not on your side uh, today. You, I mean, you try to, you, you try to, uh, you know, obviously the obvious ones like Jolly and, and Captain Vera are easy for you to remember. Um, some of the other ones maybe not so easy, but we'll see. No, there is, but is there any of is there any identifier on any of these other people that make them look connected in any way other than being in this room? Is this, are you asking him or are you asking me? I'm asking you, the DM. Uh no. Did they have a spider tattoo? No, no it's not like that. It's there's no visual like... indicator of any degree that yeah, tells you. Small. Cool. No. It's cool. Like the people uh, of this organization. Uh, do commit to, commit to memory who are who's a part of it and who isn't yeah. like they don't have any visual or like yeah, no password ah, well on occasion they'll use like a password but if they do it will change like every every so of them like there, yeah. there's very little there's a reason a lot of people don't even know they exist it's because they yeah. are very good at making sure that there's no traces or no evidence of anything uh, Peter yes What's the name of your organization? Make a persuasion check. Asla. Why? Twitter. The Order of the White Lotus. Black Lotus Gang. <laughs> Blue Lotus, actually. Black Lotus is a very expensive magic it's together. It's not terrible. It's a mm -hmm. 15. Uh, that isn't the terrible. Crimson Lotus. Does that ring like any bells? Of yes, it does. Anything? Very vividly for you. Especially for you. Oh, right. Because you have Arcanite some Arcanite ore that actually belongs to them. Oh, shit. I stole from these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. You did. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, you we did. didn't steal from them. Oh, you stole yeah. from yeah. someone yeah. that stole yeah. from them. <clears throat> right. I like, I like Jack's like Crimson Lotus, and it's that thing he goes, and it's like you, remember, uh, you 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 found this cart with a bunch of like minerals and stuff that was notes. ransacked by uh, a, an ogre or a giant of some description that you yeah. then killed, uh, and then you took the carts or like at least as much of the ores of the carts into I think it was New Daramuth where you met yeah. uh, a centaur then. Um, well, I didn't I didn't meet him, but yeah. And on the papers there was this like little small Crimson Lotus like logo. The guy's name was the Horseman, right? Steed. The Steed. The Steed. Steed, that's what it was. The Steed. Who is not present here at this point in time, by the way. No. I mean, I wouldn't know if he was anyways, to be honest. But, um, does the name of the organization ring any bells just in history? Things, no. Potentially? Okay. Thought I thought I'd, it was worth asking. You mean Vera never name dropped when you were sailing together? Hell no, dude. I mean, she, well, she might be a new recruit for all I know. We were apart for, what, like, seven or ten years, something like that? So, I mean, that's a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Who knows? So, any more questions? Do you agree with this little job, gig, quest? If Lazarin's fine with, you know, stealing from the temple, then I have no problems with it. Well, what god is this church of? I should probably ask that. Um, <laughs> important. It's also part of the reason why oh, we feel boy. like it oh, may have been an unfortunate find. It is uh, a church to uh, Aros, the god of wisdom, uh, which is why we feel like the Tooth of Asmodeus should not be in 
the possession mm -hmm. of a church dedicated to arrows, which is very much the polar opposite on the spectrum of... I mean, it wouldn't have made a difference to you what God of God was. It's just good information to know. Just in case people get pissed off later, you can mm -hmm. track it back. Um, and that's fine. I mean, uh, I'm fine with that. To be honest, it's for the betterment of others. Absolutely. So overall, um, just my no, I have. I see. Like, I as I said, no, I have no other issues. This is fine. So you accept all of you. Let's look at the group first. I yeah, if everyone else is. Yeah. Heck yeah. All right. Yeah, it's acceptable. All right. Very good. Very good. Perhaps this is the beginning of a uh, longer collaboration. See. Oh, bloody hell. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Just, you know, too many pies and not enough fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Telling me twice. Um, all right. Well, enjoy the rest of your meal. Drinks are on the house. Is there anything else you need to know? We're all here. Obviously, some of these people you've met before. Some more recent than others. I am going to get drunk. Okay. Can I... Well, uh, just uh, P this Peter character. Okay. Yes. What does he look like? Uh, <clears throat> a taller man, uh, looking human esque. Uh, mm -hmm. Pale grey skin, jet black eyes, completely black. Uh, long, slick black uh, hair. And he wears this like very well made, well tailored uh, black leather outfits with like white finishes. Does it look like he is disguised magically or by other means? Make an arcana check. Ooh. Please roll good. Please! Come on, dice gotta Boy, fail it's you. Not horrible. Gotta it's not, not horrible. You it's not horrible. It's not horrible. 16. No, there's nothing that makes you believe that he might be disguising himself. Okay. I want to know who this guy is so bad. <laughs> Only you know how like very people kind of look like their names yeah <laughs> I looked like really hard do you think I could discern what his name was ballpark hell no <laughs> <laughs> nice try John John <laughs> you could like, I, if I got like a natural 20 on perception no no, no like... hear me out you could spend the rest of the night Calling him different names and seeing if there's any reaction. <laughs> seeing if he like, oh. like casting <laughs> a line. If he, oh, that would get me. No, killed. Seeing just, if he has well, a micro expression. I was like, fucking short his mind palace. Like looking at the fucking like deduction of his pulse going up by one. <laughs> it's like, you have to think he looks edgy, so he's probably like an Ashton or Raven. something like that. You know what I mean? An Ashton. What's the uh? Alex. Oh, is it Elliot from uh, Stardew Valley? See the the edgy looking one. Elliot's no the idea. fishing guy, the guy who lives on the beach and he who's wants the... to write like novels and shit with the long hair, I think. <laughs> who's, the, who's the kid with the black hair? That's Sebastian? Sebastian, Sebastian yes. Sebastian? Is this Sebastian? Yeah, Sebastian. It would, it yeah. would be a Sebastian, let's be it real. Be it would be yeah. a Sebastian, yeah. Um, Sebby? As you all have your meal, um, at some point, Peter uh, gets oh, up yeah. from his chair and goes to sit into a, in, in a private booth and he locks it on. Uh, comes with him and you don't hear him call out for anyone but at some point Vera gets up Captain Vera and she also enters that booth and the curtains close fire in the booth fire in the booth and uh, they sit there for about half an hour and then Vera comes back out but the other two stay behind and sits back how does she table. look when she comes back out does she look upset does she look like, like pleased oh oh duh. That was so mean. It was like 19, and then it flipped over to a three plus mm. something. 
three. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna do a thing before before you tell me this because well, as she's coming out, I'm so anyone looking will um, notice just very carefully a quick um, uh, like glimmer or like a sheen kind of cross my eyes, I like a little mat, an arcane glow, and I'm using my visage of astral self because it gives me advantage on insight checks. Okay. When I do that. Spend a key point to do it. Hell yeah. I'm just checking. Yeah, advantage on This is like checks. very yeah. this is like very visible. Like you just Well, I'm doing it. I'm trying to adjust the eyes and what's visible oh, people perfect. if anyone's looking, because I'm not doing the full visage okay, okay, I can okay, control okay. how much of it. But anyone who would see, you just see a quick maybe like the colors of my eyes look a bit like the yellow and the blue just kind of flare a little bit more brighter than normal. Okay. And there's almost like the faintest hint. For a minute, it's like you almost think you see some black fur appear around my eyes, but then you like blink and it's gone. You're like, nah. So okay. the first roll was a where's the fucking too many tabs character sheet. Okay, an eight. Let's see if with the advantage I can roll any better. No, I rolled a natural one in the second one. So eight. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Laura. Uh, that she looks fine. This God. is important, and you rolled like shit. My I have, the thing is, the question is: Is it the new dice or the new dice tower? You need Don't to know. roll the dice without the or dice. Or is it that your name is Laura? You cannot blame anything. Also, anything that. on Wormwood until until after the wedding. <laughs> hey, if the tower makes me roll lots of ones, means we get lots of fun drink combinations. True. Like, I mean, true. if the true. tower makes you roll like shit, use it when you're a DM. Hey, um, true. Not 20, if they're into being a mojito on that drinks menu, it better be called the smell of the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a drink. I've added it morning, to my alcohol just list, for you. So. There's a yeah that you don't really you can't really read her expression. Okay. Um, Damn. She sits down and looks at looks at you all and um, kind of you can see her think about stuff, but she doesn't really say anything. Can I pay attention to? Of those outside our group who's like chatty to who? Yeah, sure. Um, Fiera doesn't really chat. She just kind of sits by herself and like if people Excited. approach her, she she'll reciprocate conversation, but she won't. She's not an instigator. Uh, Jolly yaps of literally everyone. Yeah, makes um, sense. Yeah, because we were chatting earlier. The bald half elf. That you haven't met yet, uh, or like you know that that isn't someone that you as a group have have seen before. Can be seen chatting a lot to the goblin waitress from the the Red Fleet. Okay. Um, Boxedon never leaves uh, Peter's, Peter's side. Um, other than that, I think that's it, right? Real fucking hard. And that's it. No, that's it. So you can see the, the, the bald half elf talking a lot to the, the goblin waitress. Jolly will yap to everyone. Vera sticks to herself, and um, the Loxodon just kind of spends his time by uh, Peter's side. You get a sense that he's like more of he's probably like that's either a second in command or just his bodyguard kind of thing. Perhaps both. Good to know. Hmm. What's Anything the... you'd like to do? How many courses are there for this dinner? Three. So you had your first course, and that's when the conversation broke out. And then you had your main course, which is just a big, big fuck off roast pig, you know, with the apple in the mouth, just like slapped on the table. Nice. And pick at it, and then as a dessert, you all just had some, uh, some, some, some chocolate mousse, very fancy, very expensive. In these neck, in this, in these, in the, in this area, um. It's definitely out of sorts for the, the muddy bolt. Weeping mug. Weeping mug, yeah. Nice. You know what I meant? Yeah, I mean, weeping mug's not the worst. Mine's well, very, like, a weeping mug's like a very, just like an average, average pub type, type deal. Nothing too fancy, nothing too shitty. Except for tonight. <laughs> yeah, tonight's uh, <laughs> an exception. Uh, what they you, got the high can... catering, outside catering. What you, what you do all kind of to conclude here is that given this dinner, the Weeping Mug is definitely, definitely like a safe house of some sorts to this organization. Like mm. being able to speak freely here and, and all that. Uh, 
Does it feel like a money laundering area as well? <laughs> Probably, dude. <laughs> Probably. Glazering so check that. Top <laughs> <laughs> Um, probably clearing the taxes. Yeah. True. That's um, just a mile. It's a little bit. It's like, oh, yeah. It's, it's good tax break. <laughs> they, 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 they have a creative accountant. Yeah. Technically, a license is a charity pub, so they even get even more off. <laughs> it's a church. <laughs> it's a church Elsinil, so they don't have to pay tax. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to say, Soko? Church of Elsinil. I was say, just a little bit after dessert, I'm going to kind of get up, be wobbling a little bit because I'm a little drunk, be like, uh, I think I should go to bed. Uh, Davian, would you help me get back to the tavern? Can I insight check? Go for it, roll insight check. Uh, One, okay, what there's you, kind of two things I'm trying to deduce here. Okay. Kind of two things I'm trying to deduce here. Yeah. One, is he actually drunk? Two, did he pick me out it, specifically and intentionally? Is Don't there fuck any me! white powder around his nose? Ooh! Ooh! In sight! 18. Soko? He has been drinking all night, so yeah, he, he's definitely definitely drunk, yeah. but and he also, yes, did definitely single you out on purpose. Okay. 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 I will I will oblige. I'll just like, be like, alright, yeah, let's, uh, let's get you to bed, old man. And, uh, so stand up and give him a shoulder to lean on as uh, as we leave. All right, and then once we've gotten maybe five minutes away, I'll be like, "So, Davian, I stole from this group." Oh. Oh, he's telling it. I don't know if they know or what they do, but I took. Arcanite when we found their shit in the woods. Don't, like, you know, Gargan and Kess and Brooke sort of know that? I don't know. It seems likely. How much exactly? Uh, well, any Arcanite's priceless. For I have... Davian, can you make a perception check for me, please? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's, it's good. It's 20, good. 23. Okay. Nice. Is you kind of... Are you walking and talking? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awkward. You look... Sorry. As as Jax begins to uh, tell you this, you kind of... You, you instinctively kind of look around to make sure that, you know, you're not being followed or anything. Once you realize, like, the, the, the like, the, the, yeah. the subject matter. Delicacy. The delicacy of the matter. And you look up, and on a nearby roof, you, for a second, see, like, a shadow, like, duck down. Oh! Oh, I, no. I just, I just, like, elbow Jax. Like, no, we can't go to the park tonight, Jax. No, you're way too drunk, and it's way too late. Let's just get you back to the tavern and get you in bed, you know? Make All right. Make a deception check. Oh, I've had two no. good rolls in a row. Come on, come on, Debian. It's not three oh. good rolls in a oh, row. Oh, that, that doesn't look like a good face. A uh, 13? Ooh. Okay. Maybe it's a night web. Maybe they don't care about the stolen shit. This is true. <laughs> yeah, I get I get the shit for being by themselves. These two fuckers go off drunk. They're not by together. themselves. Yeah, they're, they're not by themselves. They're together. It's it's the yeah, the buddy in system. Tavern. Uh, Brooks. You do notice that very shortly after uh, those two left, mm -hmm. the bald half elf also kind of did like a time to hit the hay, guys, and he left as well. So I don't know what conclusion you want to draw from that, but a believable time to hit the hay, guys, or make an inside check. No, I don't win these. I win these. You have to win this one. Do you? Yeah. Against the twenty-four. No, the day twenty. <laughs> okay, thirty yeah, twenty. He's seemed, you know, he's been he's probably been probably been here all day. You know, he's like, oh, fuck it, fucking off to bed. Well, then I have no reason to draw any conclusion other than mm -hmm. I assume that. Yeah, I'm singling you one. out specifically because you were kind of paying attention, to, like who's talking to who. So I figured yeah. you know, you'd probably be the first I to mean, notice someone leaving. <clears throat> I assume that they're being monitored in some way anyway, because otherwise you wouldn't have let them walk out of here without 
Yeah, that's, that's very fair. You know, with the shit that they know. That's very fair. Okay. Uh, so you guys continue to head towards the, the friendly giants? Davian and Jax? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, as you do, uh, when you... Are you taking the main roads or are you just doing like the shortest way there? Like, so that would, would involve going through a, a couple of like smaller streets and alleyways and shit. Having seen a fucking dude on the roof, we're going on the main roads. Okay. That's right. Under that's every fair. fucking I'll just street. I'm completely up to Davin okay, because fair. I'm yep. leaning on him. Nice and well lit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you get to the giant, uh, no problem. Uh, you can see that the people there are also slowly starting to wind down from their nights. Uh, you know, the usual suspects are present. Uh, Rob, Pleasure, uh, Celeste is also there, sitting at a table with uh, with them two specifically, having some drinks. Uh, we are we being you. followed? Hmm? Are we being followed? Would you like to make a perception check before you enter? So yeah, I wanted to, I want to quick just look around over my shoulder before we go in. Okay. <clears throat> uh 21 damn uh yeah Ooh. you now notice From <clears throat> uh that as you kind of look around you before you you know open the door to enter the uh the friendly giant um a shadow moves in a nearby alleyway how close? Oh dear. 60 feet away. Session's ending with someone getting stabbed again. <laughs> Pull an ambulance. Call the ambulance. Um, do, do, I, do I have opportunity to cast Hunter's Mark on whatever it is? Is that... Ooh. <sighs> Does it help that it's a bonus action? Ooh. Make a dexterity check. Oh, okay. See if you're quick I mean, enough. It's it's, uh, it's, uh, Got it. Thirteen. Okay. Yeah. You cast Hunter's Mark, and uh, you are now tracking the tracker, so to say. <clears throat> what's the range on that again? Like, how? What's the range on you knowing where somebody is, or distance-wise? It's a cast time of ninety feet, but it's concentration up to an hour. And it, yeah, I, I mean, like, don't you, is, doesn't it mean like you can? It's no, he just can track anyone for a whole hour. He, he knows exactly where they are just for that hour. Basically. Just exactly. It's where they not are. that you know exactly where you are, where they are. It's that you have advantage on wisdom, uh, on perception, or survival checks to find it. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. So right. if ever I'm seeking him out, it's easier. That's pretty yeah. much okay. I get, I get spidey sense. Um, if he's, if he ducks into an alley, mm -hmm. but now I have a keener sense of where he is. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go into the tavern with Jax. Okay. Trying to be as casual as possible. When Jax is situated, settled, whatever, mm -hmm. I'm going to briskly walk through the tavern and I want to try and get out of the back of the tavern. Okay. Cav kind then... of looks at you as you kind of look. Okay, no. But he doesn't stop you. I will. No, I, I mean, I, I feel like I, I trust Cav sort of enough to just be like, I'm being followed. Okay. And I will go straight through and out of the rear of the tavern and then attempt to be as uh, just completely as discreet as possible, trying to sort of hide. <gasps> Ooh, actually. Ooh. 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 I will. Let me check my uh, nature's mantle real quick. Since it's nighttime, would we say the back of this tavern is lightly obscured? Yeah, absolutely. So once I get out of the back of the tavern, I would like to try and hide. Yeah, make a stealth check. 
Well, okay. Hide Can I hide shadows? and move, or is like hide just like you stay where you're at, or is hide just stealthing? Because I want to hide and then get on the roof, or I have to get on the roof and then hide. You know what I mean? Uh, you have to get on the roof and then hide, because hide is like okay. A, well, I'm then I will. And I'm... I will. I will try and get to a roof or a balcony or whatever on the back of the building and then hide. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. The, I mean, the the buildings aren't very high, very tall. Uh, in this part of town, it's all very like residential. Looks like two floors max. Okay. Uh, so you manage to find some some footholds and handholds to kind of climb, scale the wall of uh, the friendly giants to get to the roof. Um, it doesn't give me advantage, it just means I can do it as a bonus action, mm -hmm. even if I'm being directly observed. Okay, that's so, good. Like, just make a stealth check and I'll give you advantage. Okay. They're both terrible. <laughs> Is that a nine or a six? No, okay. Uh, ten. <laughs> okay. Um, but I would also, given that I have Hunter's Mark on this guy, want to try and keep an eye on wherever he is. Make a perception check with advantage. Oops. 24. Uh, the rooftop across from you. Looking at you. I wave. He'll, like, put his hands <laughs> up and approach, and you can see him, like, hop very quick and very nimble, just hop to get to your roof. There is no need to be alarmed. Oh, uh, well. Well, there is a little need to be alarmed. There is a little. Obviously, you are going to get followed. Uh, delicate information. You're on the outside of the uh, usual group of people that know, so you'd have to be watched. Totally no Happened to have caught some unfortunate conversation about uh, a certain theft of a certain material from us, uh, whether that was oh. unknowns of unbeknownst. So how about it wasn't theft? Oh no! Did it belong to you when it got when your friend took it? It didn't belong to you when our friend took it. Hmm, In fact, I would say it was more property of the giant that we killed for it. I than feel like the else. shipping manifest that uh, came with it would argue otherwise. No. Oh no. I, I, it was a... don't, I don't know of any shipping manifests. Hmm. We well, killed a giant and we found some treasures in its possession. And I think. Which you then. If we hadn't killed such giant, then it would have been lost for good. Yes, so... but which you then went to report to the man in New Daramath uh, whose shipment it was so that he could go collect it. But you happened to have put a few bits and pieces in your bag. Listen. I know how it goes, you know, you're, you're mercenaries, adventurers, whatever the fuck it is you call yourselves. A paycheck is a paycheck. So, how about any material you took, or your friend took, or whoever the fuck it was that took it, you get to keep, except for the Arcanite. What a dumb bastard, dude. What a dumb bastard walking out of the fucking place and being like, Arcanite! <laughs> Arcanite! <laughs> shouting it. You fucking stupid old he's, bastard. He's intoxicated. Hand, hand over the Arcanite. He's an old and man. this is all over. Nothing will happen. If you don't hand over the Arcanite, I'm going to have to report it to my superior. I'll let oh, you have no. this conversation with the old man in the morning when he's. Oh. In possession of his faculties entirely. But how about you stay quiet until you've had that conversation? Make a persuasion check. What was stop making me roll? That's so <laughs> bad today. It's the game, dude. What do you mean? Just roll better. Seventeen. As my as my eyes do a little with fiery warlock goodness because of my newfound charisma. Very well. It wouldn't be very uh, professional of me to. Uh... goodness you know go into a conversation like this with a man that intoxicated i mean he's stupid enough when he's sober i'll be here to strut around the city streets inside about i'll be inside this tavern tomorrow morning at sunrise make sure he wakes up on time right and he darts off I will jump down off the roof. I'll go in the back door. I'll give Cavi. You're right. Reassured nod. 
yeah, just, uh, you know, no, n nothing too serious. That's all right. Well, is is Jack about... sitting? Jack's by wherever you left him. Probably ordering oh. <laughs> <laughs> On the floor, abandoned. Nah, right. like uh, Celeste and uh, Rob and Pleasure were sitting at the table, so I'm, I assumed that. Oh, nice. Everything okay? Jax. Yeah, I've just got to get this old man to bed. Yeah. Uh, but we just started drinking. We can drink more. No, tomorrow. you've just finished drinking, actually. So come on. I'm sure uh, you guys can catch up tomorrow, and I will, as kindly as I can, while also being somewhat forceful, <laughs> move him <laughs> from his chair and shuffle him up the stairs to whatever room and I will uh, put Onu at the foot of his bed okay. and I will tell Onu that at sunrise to clatter like fuck and wake this man up <laughs> so that he can be awake in time to talk to uh... the people <laughs> okay and then I'll head back downstairs and uh, join the others because Davian's not Davian's not super wrecked. Okay. And I um, will wait for the remainder of our crew to return to the tavern, particularly a Lazarin. Okay. Because when a Lazarin gets back, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to see who's following him. Uh, okay. I will try my best to sneak away by myself. Oh. Uh, what did we just talk about? One rule! I'm a mixed up check. We're gonna, we're gonna very, have very, much, yeah, very much a, like, <laughs> well, everyone is this, against, is this against our passive I'm, perception? I'm, I am very much stone sober, haven't I been drinking at all. Everyone else is drinking. I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna, just gonna not I say was, anything to anyone. And walk out, walk out. I was <laughs> going to say, when the other two left, given that it was <laughs> just me... Cast Diagon and Elazarin that I wanted to keep an eye on Elazarin. Because I was waiting for him to leave so that we could either talk or leave. Yeah. I guess I that's check, a... uh, Laszlo. I mean, that's a 21. Oh, <laughs> you bitch. Do I get a roll for this or is it passives? You bitch. I am very much just being like, see you guys later. <laughs> just uh, waiting, let's, let's waiting for let's Brooks go, to order go, drinks. Uh, let's go passives for this. <laughs> then yeah, that beats everyone's passive. Even yeah, passives. my passive is 15. Black eyes. Okay. So you uh, <laughs> dip out. Elazarin. I will cast borrowed knowledge. Okay. And make my perception uh, proficient. Okay. And I'm just gonna walk back, most lit way, and I'm paranoid as fuck. Any any person who's moving by me, because I've had this warning, but I'm still being a piece of shit about it. I'm just keeping an eye on my surroundings, just making sure there's nothing fucking. Make a perception check. Nothing bad happened to me. I don't get stabbed in the middle of the night. So shit. You can end up sacred flaming like one of the dudes from the. Uh, that the is a. A twenty-seven. Yeah. You are being followed. Oh. Can I see where the person is following me? Right behind you. Oh, not even try. I mean, I'll cast sending at them. Mm-hmm. And just say, What's up, bitch? Not the biggest level of trust is there if you're having to follow me. I thought you trusted the others enough. I feel like from the darkness, this big fuck off locks it on. Just like, Oh, you got the main man. Oh, you got the bodyguard. Nothing personal. Equal treatment for everyone. That's right then. Making sure you don't talk on your way home. Don't know how stupid I think you think I am. I wouldn't talk straight away after just saying I wouldn't. I wouldn't You'd talk. Be surprised anyway. how stupid some people are. <laughs> That's fucked up. I can. <laughs> you feel that? Never caught your name. I know. It's Moxidon. Do you Tusk. have a way? 
tusk. You'll look at him and you can see where normally his tusks would be. They've been broken off. And you can he kind of like points down to his waist and you can see that there's two daggers hanging from his belt made from his tusks. Tusk. That's fucking badass, by the way. That's, that's edgelord <laughs> that's, as shit. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> First off, what the fuck? Most edgelord shit I've ever heard yeah, in my holy life. Shit. I have to admit, session zero, I debated trying to steal them. Oh, oh you would have fucking died. Fucked. Yeah, session. Imagine session zero. Just he's not there. <laughs> just Brooks not there. <laughs> oh well, good to meet you, Tusk. Are you gonna follow me all the way home? Or... Yes. <laughs> well, fair Nothing enough. Personal, Speaking... but orders. Surprised. Just. Be a bit boring for you. That's all. I'm gonna go straight home. It's all right. Go do a fine job. And he'll just like back off away from you, and you see him leap up to a roof. And it is insane how quiet he is for a man his size. How quiet he is when he like when he when he's moving around and hopping from roof to roof. But he's definitely he's tailing you all the way till till you enter. I uh, how is it dim light currently? I'd say this, it's dark. The, like, the only dark? on the main roads it'll be lit. Like, dimly lit, but, like... Actually, now on the main roads it'll be pr normal, like, proper lit, because there's, like, torches and shit, but, or, like, street lights or whatever. fly home. But, uh... I kind of... I'll see him up on like the... Uh, I guess... In the, like, alleyways and stuff, where there's, you know, no direct light, it will be dimly lit, but, you know, it's 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 it's, it's, it's getting late. Like, it's, it's dark. I've been... I haven't felt flying earlier today mm -hmm. i'm just sort of going to somewhere dark and just sort of take some breaths and sort of Actually, exhale you know what dude the moonlight i'd say it's dimly let's fuck it yeah i mean it can, it can be in darkness as well i've just read and i'll um just sort of exhale and just sort of try and sing you know these jumps he's done as well try and just sort of lift myself and use steps of steps of the night so I guess he's still wearing the boots. So. I give you no, I'm not anymore. Oh, you're not uh, anymore. And I give myself a flying speed equal to my walking speed for a minute. I just sort of start to raise up. You look down and you see the locks on looking at you, and then and, and he's almost like a nod of. But uh, he does stick with you, like he whatever you fly yeah. to, he just like oh yeah, make sure, make sure he tells you thirty feet speed. It's, it's a. And then, like, I land, like, I mean, I'll use all three of my things to get home. Like, it's three minutes of this flying and make sure if I yeah, don't sure. get there in three minutes, it'll be, I'll go down, but I'll just. Oh. I'll taste it once. Let's do it again. And as I get to the tavern, I'll sort of look back, sort of wave at him, be like, thanks for the ride home. As you turn back to wave at him, he's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll sort as of Elijah, as Elijah gets to the tavern door, I've just, I fucking pull it open. Were you followed as well? Yeah. I had a locked on following me. It was a elf for me. Now, we might have a little problem, but I'll tell you about it. Elsewhere. How little a problem? Like, me a little of a problem or like an actual little problem? <laughs> Something like seven, about seven foot tall of a problem in blue skin. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. No, I'm talking about Jax. No, I know. I look back at Celeste. No, I'm talking about Jax. <laughs> no, no, I got Sorry. I, I, huh? I got that. The others don't know I've left, by the way. At this point, have we Christ, noticed Christ. that Lazarin's gone? Yeah, like at some point you'll yeah. be like... Oh, for fuck's sake. If they do ask, I caught up with you and Jax. Hmm? If the others ask, if I went by myself, I caught up with you and Jax. You're a moron. <laughs> I had a tail. I had a feeling I probably would. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think the other three will have an issue, so I'm going to go to bed. And, uh... <laughs> it's going to be an early morning, I think, so... Get a rest as we can. Yeah. Right. And, and I'll uh, just go straight to bed. So, okay. 
I sort of turn and go past Celeste and kind of give her a sort of tap on the shoulder and like a little nod and Celeste. then make my way upstairs. Reduced to just a booty call. Her. Literally ignored her all day. Been hanging out for like however long it took Elazrin <clears throat> to leave, get here, That's whatever, true. while I was waiting for her to get in the door. I'm sorry yeah, I didn't argue seven, the whole seven, situation of a singer at the table and hanging out. Yeah, seven minutes. I guess. For a whole minute of time. Uh, she'll just kind of nod, and a few minutes after, she'll also follow. After being poked and prodded by by pleasure, and you know, you hear the like, ooh. <laughs> uh, the rest of you. That noise. Man, maybe I just want a big spoon. There's no. Yeah, I mean, what you do you know, inside that room is all up to you, man. You just... Maybe that um, conspiring. The to rest kill of us. you. Uh, you doing anything before you fuck off? From well, once we notice the room's gone, I'll just probably again Kess and Brooks and immediately be like, Let, "We gotta fucking go." I don't, I don't trust this man on his own. You heading out? Well, the fucking squishy cleric that likes to fuck off on his own has fucked off on his own, and I. Oh, like I've got to Tusk sure. tailing him. He'll be fine. Okay, I'm okay. still gonna, I'm still gonna throw something at him, but still an idiot. Yes, well, well, that went better than expected. Yeah, For the drinks. A little bit of honesty goes a long way, I suppose. You know, play open card, as they say. See if it lasts. So or at least this way, you lots won't have to lie about your side activities anymore. Makes it a bit easier. Nice. I have to ask. Mm -hmm. What made you pick the name Peter? Oh, yeah. It's the first thing that sprung to mind, really. Does this mean that every time we do this, we're going to get a different name? Probably. Interesting. That's fun. There are three people in this world that know my name. Uh, well, that they're alive. One is myself. I bet you won the locks are done. Yeah, I was going to say. Perhaps, perhaps not. None of your business, is it? Only asking out of interest. It's not like I care enough to start fucking researching your name, is it? <laughs> the third is I, shady person. Have I ever number struck two. you as a person that cared enough to pry about that? Yeah, I would never do that. You, Brooks, absolutely would. Because the more you know about a person, the more you can craft a false persona and pretend to be them. Which is what got you in a little bit of trouble, because I believe one of your personas is currently being wanted for murder. Yeah, Mr. So, Heldenry. yes, you are absolutely the kind of person interested enough to look into that sort of shit. I feel like Wait, I wah. wouldn't pretend to be you, purely because it's going to be more trouble than it's worth, but... Anyway. You ever need help with that, by the way? You know, got connections. Very good lawyers. I mean... But the Brooks goes to trial arc. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Becomes a, a legal RPG. It's not a major problem. Objection! Because we're not planning to go over there. Sustained. But... You never know. If you have people over there, I'd like to know where this came from because there's not that many people. Oh, uh... That can put that name to... This face, it's normally to a different face. Send some feelers out. And I will owe you, unfortunately, again. <laughs> Forming a habit, are we? I'll just have to find what your vice is. Is it something fucking weird? <laughs> I don't know. You were heading out, correct? Or something. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure that the cleric gets his fucking whatever I find thrown at him for being an asshole. Cast transform me. Just make sure you don't throw one of Jax's tools this time. He didn't like that. I did say next time it would be the table. <laughs> Pick a table that doesn't have stuff on it. I will. Th th again, that's true. Yeah. All right. Man, have a good uh... night. We'll let you know when we're heading out, and 
Yes, I'll uh, send word out. Europe, I guess. Send word out to our mutual mutual friend down there to expect uh, a drop off at some point in the near future. Yeah, just don't tell him it's gonna be me, because if I have to go there, I'm probably not gonna look like me. Fair not enough. because of Yorick. Yorick's fine, but I don't know who else is still there, and I don't necessarily want to deal with that. Oh, I understand. And he looks at you, like, and he's like, he knows. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> he knows everything. From that... L Fuck! I'm gonna find his name. Is that your way of implying that the person I would like to avoid is still there? Hmm, where's the fun in ruining that surprise? Oh, I fucking... This isn't even just a... This isn't even a, a knowledge is power thing for you. This is just a... It'll be fucking funny. You do realize what deity I serve, right? Yeah, yeah. Fucking trickster bollocks. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's correct. Tricks of bollocks, that is her name. <laughs> she has a problem with it, she can come and correct me, otherwise. Tricks of bollocks. Yeah, for what you wish for. She's gonna do fucking put itch and powder in my socks. Be lucky if it's just the socks. Anyway, have a good night. See you when I see you. You three also head towards the giant. Uh, yep. When you get home, uh, I'm assuming Davin also went to bed. Like all of you went to bed already. So... If they're in bed, when we go upstairs, I just want to see if there's an eye patch on one of the doors. Well, no, because we both went to bed at the same time. I didn't know that though. I wasn't there. No, no eye patch. Okay, there's a sock, but not an eye patch. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> there's a sock. Uh, one of Davian's socks. Yeah, but it's on Jax's door. <laughs> Oh fuck! They went in the wrong room, <laughs> dude. Yeah, well, wouldn't that be fucking hilarious? There's a fucking suck on Jax's door, and then at six a.m. in the morning, you just hear this <laughs> fucking uh, older person like, wake him up. Fucking be, pull a funny prank and sneak in, and you just see the suck on the door, and inside, all the only things there is Jax oh, oh, and you and <laughs> two together and three, five. Like, all right, uh, and as you all have your long rest, we'll. Uh, you know, you wake up the next day, Jax, very early, as Owen just goes, uh, waking you up. And we'll uh, pick this up. Uh, wait, are you here next week? So we're down two next week, we're, so... We're down two next week. We realize next week, next week, week we might not But play, it's yeah. not my fault. Belle and Laura aren't here. Oh, Belle's yeah. also not here? Rick, yeah. No, she's going to yeah, be trapped. she only just messaged that she's uh, gonna while be, we were playing. She's going to be stuck with a friend because of rail strikes. Okay. Um, she looks like she. she uh, fucking are you here two weeks so cool? What? I I'm here every Sunday for the most part. I was just on vacation. Okay. Okay. Just making sure. Just making sure. Back. The man's back properly. All right. We'll. Uh, I'll be missing one in. Guess December, we won't pick this sure up we'll this next Sunday, but we'll uh, maybe we'll we'll do some replacement, uh, like a replacement one shot or something. If the people that Ooh. do normally play D and D want to play. Yeah, something. You, you for you can have like a boys' day. <laughs> Yo, the lads. The girls be gone. Yeah, watching the World Cup. Let's fucking go. <laughs> watch the World Cup. I would rather put my band. All on right, the radio. We'll, um, we'll keep you in the loop. Uh, as for discourse this week, any? Uh, I feel like. Uh, Who do feel, you want? I feel like a koiba would be pretty good. <laughs> Smile. I don't know what uh, you're talking about, my guy. Other than that. I think I think Ethan would be good as well, just to kind of. Why am I always on with Koiba? I don't know. <laughs> I think Ethan no, would be good yet. purely because it, of it, uh, maybe not shit that got exposed today, but definitely shit that's about to be revealed I'm, about. I haven't been on in a while, actually. So he so, tossed uh, something at at Elazarin's head today. <laughs> so uh, if, does that work for both of you this uh, this Thursday? Yeah. Uh yes. Should do. Heck yeah. Might it might be How's, slightly uh, delayed uh, tomorrow. tomorrow? I'm done. I'm down. Diff tomorrow? Hell yeah. All right. I'm down. Uh, yeah, because Netherlands play their first game, but that's that's kick off at 5 p.m., so we should be good for Divinity. That's fine. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, My man. Okay, okay. My man. <laughs> Gotta, gotta, gotta watch the footsie, boys. Let's be real. Come on. Um, all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. We love you. We appreciate you. Laura, James, thanks for the subby movies. I think. You're welcome. Oh, they, yeah, they did say they were going to go live. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, they are.
Are they live? Yeah, we're going to throw the raid to a play Dicely then. They just started. Beautiful. Our favorite. Look at that timing. Our buddies. Raid. Uh, is it? It's Dicely D&D, right? Dicely underscore yeah. D&D. I think so, yeah. yeah. It's not underscore. No, it's just, it's just it's no underscore, yeah. Someone underscore. remind me at the start okay. of next session to throw a table at Elazarin. I will not remind you of that. All right. Um, thanks good for luck everybody. trying. You. My Love you. We'll be at tomorrow for Divinity. Uh, next Sunday, there won't be a regular DS. So there will be, there'll potentially be something... To replace it just like a little cheeky one shot or something we'll see well keep an eye on the discord <laughs> bye bye thanks <laughs> Later. Da -da -da -dum. bomb 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 you gone bomb 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 da -da 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 -dum. that's now slowly like fade out just like bomb, bomb.